You are, Darren. And this is Echoes of the Gun, session 53. Welcome back, everyone. <laughs> What the fuck did we have session 50? Uh, three sessions ago. <laughs> it might have been, it might have opened up with I'm tired from K, but I'm Diary was definitely in there. <laughs> no, no, you must understand, I don't remember having sessions. That's fair. That is fair. Um, yeah, it's session 53. I don't have to do things anymore at the start, so this is where we just jump to Darian again. Welcome to the Darian show, featuring Darian. And Darian. Last time on Echo, the gatekeepers entered the jungle, fought some Echoes, attempted to rest, fought more Echoes in a dangerous fog, and then left the jungle after finishing their rest. So yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, curr <laughs> it's currently the 11th of Don't Easter. Don't give me enough time to do the quiz. No, no. <laughs> That's the whole recap. My, my... <laughs> My ping was just to jump into it. <laughs> I still think that my version was better. So Jimmy messaged me about an hour and a half before stream mm -hmm. with a joke, and all he said was recap the last session. Last time on Echoes, the party got out of the jungle, and that's it. <laughs> it's pretty accurate, accurate he said. It was pretty accurate. I don't remember coming to this island, so... Yeah, half yeah. of you don't even remember this fucking place. I remember... Most I remember the, the creatures that were weird, but I don't know what they were. But then also, I don't. Let's get it. Terra doesn't remember arriving on the island. Xavier and Arkva don't even remember picking up Sylvie. Oh no, I think percent. they remember Sylvie. No, wait, 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 wait. I thought Arkva did. I think maybe that's the point where you guys' think... memories cut off because you guys lost yeah. a decent chunk of time because you ate. I thought we it was just Judas never... that was on the boat. We never remembered arriving on the island. Last thing oh, I remembered okay. was on the boat. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, picking I remember. Up I remember just picking up Sylvie. Okay, and just <laughs> the three. None of the, the three of you don't even remember anything since arriving on this island, except you know yeah. what happened. Actually, no, you just remember getting here and then walking out of the jungle. Wait. No, I'm just gonna type in chat. A, a that's a bit more than I thought. Session. So after the events of uh, what happened, which was go into the jungle, go out of the jungle. Um, having a little rest before nighttime. Yeah, having a little rest, and then, yeah, they have, being raided, came back. It is now the morning of the 11th. Some uh -huh. Something happened. You swear you came here earlier. Um, but yeah. What do you guys want to do? Opening it up to the club. Is it the morning or night? It's the morning. You, we ended on a long rest, I'm pretty right, sure. Right. This is most of you don't really remember. Uh, we did go and actually talk to the captain. I believe Arthur was going to head out to wait for the lady to wake. Well, I mean, technically he's sleeping on her porch, but waiting for her to wake up. Yeah, as like sunrise rises, you feel the door shift as it hits you. Um, as she like does it once, doesn't move, does it like harder. Two more times, and then it was like, oh yeah, he's sleeping. And <laughs> stops. There's a pause, and it's just one last time. <laughs> I willingly fail the push check. Yeah. You just get shifted over. You don't know how this very old dragonborn has much more of a body strength than she lets on, but it's not surprising. As uh, you shift out, she sits on uh, a chair that's on the deck, and just sits there and looks at the ocean. Morning. Morning. So, uh... I'm, I'm gonna take a moment to wake up. Yeah, I'll give you that time. I find you don't particularly want to go and get your chest shaved moments after being woken up. Yeah. It's not an ideal plan, but I mean, when you're in battle, it happens. Well, I'll be here. And she like leans back on the chair, like I'm rocking slightly. <laughs> when you're done doing whatever you gotta do in the morning, you can come over here and we'll talk about that tattoo you want. Yes. I was gonna think for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I remember asking. What? <laughs> you never mm -hmm. even told her the details of it either. <laughs> Fine. Uh, uh, the can instinct this. 
Yeah, yeah so what's everyone else doing? The tower is there, I believe, because Osiris erected the tower the night before. Um, yep. You're all rested, which means the tower will disappear shortly. But um, the morning has come, you all start to wake up on the uh, in the tower on the beach. I would have said that, like, I mentioned the night, like, last night, that there was a captain that we spoke to that was willing to travel with us, but, like, I go into detail that it was like, yeah, he's probably not going to be interested if we're going, like, straight to his lane on the mainland or whatever. Like, I want to be stuck with Casey, but, like, that I'd gone with Arkfer and Xavier and that they'd seen interest, so... Just see what, what other people think, because the other two have forgotten. Oh, fuck. Uh, I'm trying to remember the exactly... Well, it's a lot of things before coming here. Um... Christine will probably just be waiting first to see, like, uh, what... Uh, the, like, mainly what Osiris is thinking of where to go first before she puts in her voice. That's always kind of how she goes. And Osiris is thinking, why does this player who controls my every move keep getting sick? Oh. That's a shame. <laughs> Sorry. Just, just don't get sick. Well, no, um, I should have done that in Melbourne. You do notice, um, as, like, people wait for Osiris, that um, both of his hands have been, like, loosely bandaged. You told me last time you were doing something. Did I? You said you were pun. You said oh, you were punching right, the yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, did I? Jeremy's a great player. That's, that's he remembers that's, stuff that's, he told me. That's the best thing to hear from a player. It's like I did what? Blame it on me being sick, but I would have done it anyway. <laughs> yeah. You, I you see, like, yeah, loose bandages over his arms. There seems to be some blood splatters over his knuckles. I know where I would like to go, and it's where, it's where I've been saying I'd want to go for a while. But I'm just feeling like, again, time has just been wasted here. I prefer not to waste any more. Skip this, uh, a few kiss and go with someone who'll take us straight to Gisling? Or somewhere in that area? She kind of sort of turns her head away. Well, that's where my mind is at, at least. Entirely up to you and to your friends. I, I go where the party goes. This was something that Arthur and Xavier looked into, and honestly, since they've forgotten, it probably doesn't matter that much. Like a good old wasted time. I can always look up my uh, contacts in the KC at another time. Plenty of time for that. Unless this is something that can be rectified for a restoration magic, I doubt they would be able to help us considering they were trying to remove whatever potential curse was there, did nothing. There's not much point worrying about it. Home is where you wish to go, then home is where you should be. And what about you? I need some time for myself. Before I hope to have a chance to... If at the very least, forgive myself. That you 
so we'll probably be going back to that one. Seeing this this conversation becoming more personal, Sylvie's like, I'm going to take my lead. Just sort of like moves away from you guys. Whoever's typing mute. From from that, Christine definitely is almost just like a, a little bit su surprised, but not a bit deflated. She kind of like maybe when maybe was also sitting uh, in the conversation, just kind of stands up a bit. And just kind of takes a step back. Uh, I and then she just kind of goes out. I'm not sure what to say. Like leaves. Yeah, she kind of. She looks like she's leaving, but like she looks like she wants to try to say something, but knowing that she shouldn't, nor she does. You can make an inside check if you want. Sure, why not? Wouldn't say it's a high DC. You know, not to play. It's almost like looks like where she, where she's done it before to you and Selena, where she wants to try to be almost like, like selfish a bit, but then pulls herself back, and then, yeah, she just kind of leaves. Most likely to stop herself. I mean, she leaves, she leaves. Yeah. And just, I guess she just sits outside uh, the tower just for a little bit. After a few moments. He'll open the door and come out. You know it's not goodbye forever, right? You know where I live. You can always message, but it's not going anywhere. I just I need to take some time for myself. I've been through a lot and I've never really processed any of it. Stop writing. I, I, I know. Um, I know. But and she stops herself from saying more. You know, I. I should be with you, Paul. Really. I just, I just don't know what will happen next, really, I guess. I, I, I don't know. Everything's already so much a headache as it is, and then to think about what to do without you were listening, and I just... I mean, with, with that in mind, you can... We might not be there next to you, but it doesn't mean we're not there with you. Oh. Fish. Uh, no, no, thank you. I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm also good for the moment. Whatever's on your mind, son. Do what you feel your heart's telling you, not what your brain's telling you. And Catman wanders off. She smiles. Do you think that's helpful? 
No, but I... He probably does, but I, I don't think he realises it's... Never mind. sure I'll be able to figure something out. It's just trying to deal with, I guess trying to deal with the chaos in general will just be different. Different's not always bad. Different's just scary at first. <laughs> she, she looks up to see Christopher is sitting and she just looks at you like the, oh god I know, like, <laughs> I know that already. <laughs> Okay. You can always come back to the intro if I'm busy. I wouldn't want to make it inconvenient or harder. What makes you think it would be harder? You need to do this alone, did you not? I wouldn't it's want less to... alone and just more without the constant threat. Anything could put me six feet under. I'll be home with my other family. Doesn't mean you guys can't have a visit. She nods. And I feel like uh, that she just kind of looks out. Like towards maybe where the um the little port town is, village, whatever it is. Excuse me. <laughs> See a little cobalt kid uh walk up to the tower, enter the door. <laughs> um and you are You forgot Ricky, like the greatest guy of all time. You forgot me. I mean you all got me drunk. That's on you. You're bad people. Hello, Ricky. Hello. How could I forget? So, are you guys like seeing the captain ever? Well, you see, we went into the jungle, and most of us have forgotten large swaths of our life. And, uh. I think that there may be a decision that we might be going with somebody else, but I apologize for wasting your time. Yeah, you're just and cowards. Alright, bye. Goodbye. You can just have the conversation again and remember, but whatever, man. He leaves. Maybe you don't come back. <laughs> the literal child walks away. <laughs> I stick with my prick comment. He takes some fish, leaves. I think that's the child I kidnapped in a way. Yes. Oh, you don't get a thought. <laughs> Sylvie remembers. I feel like Christine should remember that too. Christine, was I there. do. I, I just, you just don't care. I, but that's, well, that's, that's why she went. Oh, when he when he said drunk, I was like, oh right, <laughs> I didn't care. <laughs> and he just walked away. I was like, alright, bye. So he's just sitting on her her bag on the beach, just like sun sunbathing, basically. <laughs> I think I... I think that I'm gonna... Well, I don't know about the others, but I'm definitely going to head back to the assault. So, take a stay. If I need to. So, at least we won't be too far for a little bit. Just up to the side. I'll let you know. What happens next? I just don't. I just don't really know what's gonna happen next. I'll keep my ear to the ground and my mind in the empyrean for anything that could still help. But I can. Thank you. And 
and if there's anything you ever need answered, you can have it back within the day. I'll keep that in mind, thank you. Yeah, and then just uh, imagine the conversation just kind of drifts a bit. Just a bit of silence. I'm going to have to do the rounds. <laughs> Good. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. And Osiris goes off by the next person to have this conversation with. I feel like as you're walking away, Sophie's in the distance away. It's like, it was nice knowing you for, you know, a week. Good have week. fun. <laughs> Same here. Fun is the fun. Yeah, it's called sarcasm. Never heard of it. Who's uh who's next? Catman's on going to the docks, so he ain't there. Mm. <laughs> you chase off. What a surprise. Offer is hard to find. Well, I mean he only has a plus seven to stealth. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Eight. It's nearly as good as mine. I guess oh, he's so next. Oh. He's kind of standing out. <laughs> here, here, just, just to amuse you. It's all well two. <laughs> it's easy to recognize the cat man's back heading for the docks. He is the only Leonin. <laughs> he is the only Leonin. Tail swaying behind him. He's a cat on a mission. I mean, he's ran down those docks. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't know that, but... Yeah, no, you address whoever you wish. Uh, he'll walk up beside you. So you do want to fish? No, I want to talk. Right. We can talk. You move fast for a tall one. I'm only like 10 feet slower every 6 seconds than you are. Don't know why people keep thinking I'm slow. I'm just old. Not dead. <laughs> well, yeah. if my gut's telling me right based on what I picked up walking by, I'm not going to like this conversation. Probably not. But, go on. Uh, there's a man there. Fish vendor, I think, smelling over that way. So I will walk that way. I'm going home for a bit. I need some time to reflect. You need time to process things that you haven't sat down to do. Yeah. Things that you would say that, uh... Rather than running from things, you feel like you've been chased by it. And now that you've seen your family, you want to... Stop being chased, as it were. I need time to let go of everything I hold in order to efficiently take on more stuff in the future. Mm. If I keep tethering myself to the past, the past is the only place I'm ever going to be. I understand, Osiris. Take it from someone who's maybe younger, but has already had to learn to let go of everything once. It's not an easy road. I had guidance, but I don't think you will. And here I thought you only knew catapult. <laughs> What's guidance? Is, is that that the spell? Is, is that what the, the... Probably. I'm, I'm an arcane caster. <laughs> Tell you what. Before we head back to the others, why don't you help me pick out a fish for the uh, lovely old dra dragonborn? 
to because she was a dragonborn, right? Yes, the one on the beach. Yeah, yeah. Let me help me pick out a fish for uh, the dragonborn lady. I she's gonna help me with a tattoo before we leave the island. Um, he looks down at the array of fish. May I make a intelligence check for what looks like the best fish? You're a local to the area. You can t you can easily pick out fish that is edible, um, ones that taste good, ones that aren't. Like you will know the ones that are cheap versus the ones that are actually good eating. I don't think you'd have to roll for that. Okay, I pick out a good fish. Yeah. Um, surprisingly to Akvo, um, when you come to this fish area, a few of the fishermen seem to, like, be pretty excited to see you. <laughs> oh. um, Have I met them before? That's to Osiris, I bet. Yeah. Huh? Met who before? What? These fishermen seem excited. Is someone popular here? I mean... You are literally the only person that looks like you on this whole island, probably. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, I look to the uh, fishmonger that I assume we're at. Uh, how much for this one and uh, just one that's easy to snack on, soft bones? Yeah, it doesn't take much. Um, if you, I'm saying, are you buying enough just for her or for like, everyone? You, what? How much are you buy? Uh, buying. So, so the main, the the very good looking ones for the the dragonborn lady. I guess I'll buy enough from... You know, I'll sneak it in to be an extra for Osiris, too. I'm sure he likes fish. Uh, I'll say it can be, like, honestly... If you were buying, like, just for her and then some for Osiris, it's, like, three gold. Okay. Which is cheap. Down. Money I'll, is not. I'll chuck down, like, ten gold. Yeah, you can buy... The the fishmongers are very happy to see Akfer. They're all like calling him sir and stuff and be like, oh yes, come sir, come. Oh, we have great fish here. And Osiris, you, uh, you you steer him away from at least one conversation where it's like they're clearly trying to swindle like a much more expensive price on him. Um, as it appears that he's made a name for a dude who buys a lot and expensively. And the guy you eventually do settle on, you buy some nice fish. I'm not going to bother Googling to figure out how what type of fish. That's fine. Um, <laughs> But you buy some some good fish. It's like it would taste delicious. Um, oh, and the dude that. you grab pay, that one. Yeah, he just hands it to you. Um, <laughs> the dude who you buy it from is very happy when you hand him ten gold. For what he quoted you was like half, less than half that. Mm -hmm. and, oh. uh, one of these is for you, Osiris, and I hand him one of the wrapped fish. I assume they're wrapped. Wrapped in what? Newspaper that doesn't find. exist. <laughs> Probably leaves, I reckon. Yeah. Palm leaves would make sense. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I hand you one of the wrapped ones. This one's for you. Uh, this one's for me, and I just bite into it after we're having already paid. Thank you. Now, um, scale, yeah. Now I'm kind of walking around with a bucket of fish. Uh, How about we head back? I. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want to see you go. But, uh. It's fine. Um, I'll make sure to keep what's left of the original gatekeepers alive. Just keep them all alive. I'll try. Although, um, if you have any breakthroughs uh, in here, or in here, and the sort of like point of claw towards his, I guess his hole in his chest. <laughs> mm -hmm. In here, as in to reference your wherever yeah. a total heart is or in here pointing to your head make sure to reach out especially with the first one i mean you didn't want my help last time you were going to do it on your own <laughs> <laughs> things change i'll uh i'll keep you posted now uh, i got a fish to deliver um i have more friends to find <laughs> don't lose that fish it's yours Secretly wished he'd come to see Akva last. <laughs> Didn't have to carry the fish around. <laughs> I mean, like, what put it in the pocket plane. You don't have to take thoughts, you don't know. I mean, Akva's literally just biting into one of, one of them himself. <laughs> it's, it's just raw fish, you know. Mm. As, a, 
Zarkva starts walking back uh, off in the distance and near the tower. You can... You, it's never really seen, but you see as the building starts to collapse and these bricks of stone start to misplace and shift and fall down. And once they hit the ground, they just turn into magic as uh, the tower disassembles itself. I like the idea that it's like, this, as it's like sort of disassembling the sand, kind of gets like pushed up a little bit. So we just picks her bag up herself, moves like a distance away, finds a better spot with less like sand flow out, and just sits back down again. Oh, she's found like a large leaf to like use as a shade. Mm -hmm. Like a big palm leaf. <laughs> There's a. Uh... Where uh, where are Terra and uh, Xavier? So Cyrus can look for you. He was in the tower. He's uh, he's not now. It's on not the now. on the sand. He woke up late and he woke up to falling ten feet in the sand. <laughs> no, that's that's Terra. That's the women. The man gets to just shift as the ground beneath them turns into sand instead of wood. He's having a he's having a one of them uh, early morning beach jogs, you know. Just uh, just having a having a jog. Okay. Well, like a jog here, or is like going for a jog around the island so he's gone. Uh, probably doing that. You can't really lap the island, it'd take you multiple days to go yeah. into it directly. That's also, um, at a certain point, the jungle borders up straight into um, the beginnings of, like, sheer cliff. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Jog off the cliff. Well, I'd probably to town and back. Well, the and town was five feet away from when you got to sleep. Oh, it was five feet away? Because it's on the beach, and the town is literally floating on the water directly in front of the beach. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, in that case, probably, I don't know, just, like, a bit further away from the town, just yeah. on my own. As you start jogging on one side of the, the beach itself, you see a lone boat by itself, which is weird, because there's a whole bunch of these... The town itself is just a bunch of boats and, like, platforms across, like, several of them as if they were, like, parked there forever. Just, just a lone boat? Yep. Okay, um... It's I... still connected, but it's, like, on its own little branch. Yeah, there's, like, no other boats on this dock. I'll... I'll go south. As, uh, Why is Xavier always getting himself into shit? As you, uh, yeah, as you as you start making your way down there, um, the other two walk back with the tower gone. You see, tower off in the distance, um, uh, with with her skull. Uh, with her skull, and she seems to be uh, decorating it. I assume that's what working on means. Building a Sandman, clearly. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funnier. <laughs> Just a snowman, but with the fucking skull on top instead of the third ball. <laughs> Terrifying sand creature. <laughs> um, there uh, you. I'll go see Terra then. Ah, uh, carving it away so you can wear it like a helmet. Okay. Yeah, you see it with a chisel making a hole <laughs> in one of the sides. See, so yeah, Cyrus, you walk up to that. Hi, Tara. <laughs> what, uh, what are you doing? Hi, Pop. I'm Tony Gary in Jupiter Fame Warhammer. I will strike fear into everybody who looks at me. There I am, my father looks at me. Fair enough. Um, look, I... I will be going back home for a little bit. Everyone else is probably going to go back to the mainland, and I have an important date coming up that I would not be home for if 
I wish we'd go back with you guys. So I'm going to go back home and take some time to myself in order to help me move on from past events. So you're leaving? For a time, yeah. Sarah stops speaking, and she just turns her back to him, and shoves it at Barry. It doesn't fit. She tries you can try. It. Cyrus will walk away, feeling, yeah. uh, feeling, feeling, feeling bad, feeling worse, I should say. Yeah, it's understandable. It's already hard enough for him to do. <clears throat> Terra, the skull is spiky. And your horns don't quite fit yet. Mm -hmm. For Barry, it's more in the comfort. Terra has enough sediment issues. I'm assuming after he leaves, you go back to carving it so the hell the skull. Uh, she'd probably move away from the area, kind of more out of sight, and just go back to doing it after. Maybe go hide behind the lady part. Fair enough. This isn't something you're skilled at, so it's like you're kind of working at it as best you can, but you don't really know how to carve a skull into no, a helmet. But you're doing your like best. She shoved it on her head and sort of figured out where her horns go, and then she's just sitting there slowly trying to carve it with whatever she can. Yeah, probably a knife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you continue working on that. Cyrus, I'm assuming you go to look for Xavier. Only one person left. Yeah. Xavier. Yeah. You approach that one ship, kind of on its own docking finger. Yeah. As um, you start walking up towards the ship, uh, you see this like little kobold coming from the opposite direction, pretty much walking also towards the ship, and he kind of stops when he sees you approaching this lone ship, and there's a few, there's a few, like, looking at dudes on the deck, kind of leaning around, there's, like, dragonborns and, like, some Yonti and stuff, and they all look at you, um, you can tell there's, like, a, like, they seem to, they're not, like, on guard or anything, but they notice you approaching, but they make no move to do anything about it. Hmm. Oh, okay, um, hello, um, I was just a bit curious why this ship was out here and not out over the rest of them. But... The guys on the deck look at each other a bit confused. And before one of them can respond, um, the little kobold runs up towards you and is like, Hey! What are you doing? What am I? I'm... Yeah... Uh, I, I thought looking... you guys said you'd not come and talk to him. Talk to who? I'm why sorry. would you tell me? That you're not coming to talk to him if you're coming to talk to him now. I am very sorry. Um, Are you guys also liars on top of getting children drunk? Okay. Have we met before? Because I have just been in an ordeal. I came out of the. All I remember is I came out of the jungle and I don't remember anything before that apart from being on. Uh, but, and somehow I woke up and I came out of the jungle. That That's basically my memory span right now. I do not remember you. Sorry. As, uh, as you're saying this, uh, the yelling of the child, who to everyone who, who remembers him is clearly Ricky, um, has lured, has like drawn over a decent number of the people on the deck who are all like, leaning against the banisters near it, just kind of watching as this child is attempting to chew you out. Um, when you finish telling him that, he's like, ha! Huh, Likely story, but if you really went in the jungle, you wouldn't be here. Well, let me posit you this question, right? Um, if if we have talked before, assuming we have, do you remember everything I had on me? What? You guys got me drunk. I don't remember much from that night. That is that is that is very fair. Um, um, do I? Who is the captain of this ship? 
I'm sorry. Wait, I'm the captain just... of the duty tells you you like you don't remember. I, I not even you can't even think of a good lie. You wouldn't forget him. He's too awesomest. Okay, I am willing to take a zone of truth to just rectify the situation. I walk out of the jungle. I don't remember anything. Is that okay? it, what, is is that, is that like a place where people can't lie? Like it's a truth yes. zone. What makes people do the not lying? Like you just pinky promise, like I'm gonna do the truth in this zone, and then no. you do the truths. No, it's a paladin spell. You, it paladins learn it. Sure they do, because everyone knows there's just magic guys walking around doing magic things everywhere. I cast shield Whatever. of faith, and I make a shield of faith that goes around me. Oh my god, magic! You don't cast Shatter on the child and never have to have this conversation again. <laughs> I don't have Shatter. That's a uh, skill issue. When you cast Shield of Faith, the child's like, either Ricky's like, oh my god, it's magic. You are a magic man. And a few of the, the sailors just like clapping. <laughs> like, woo! Okay, um. I'm sorry. Uh, could you, could we please just alleviate the situation? Uh, I am very confused. I don't know who any of you are. I apologize for that if I've made some sort of impression on you. Uh, could you help me uh, regain some memory? What do you do? Did I talk to your captain earlier? You wouldn't forget him, but I think that you're telling the most truth. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and tell the captain that maybe you're not a bad lie, Ban. One moment. You wait here. Yeah. And he like runs towards the ship, like runs up the gangplank, which you're like almost at. He was a little bit away, so just to yeah. kind of run towards you, then go up the gangplank. The dudes on the ship just like just need to part a little bit to let him in, and then they all look down at you, and one's just like, "Yeah, he's like that." <laughs> I, f I figured, um, I have some experience with children, but, uh, none that small, and usually it was giving them a sword, and, you know, training them, wasn't it? Just nod, like, yeah, I remember my first sword. Why did you give him alcohol instead? I don't remember if I did or anything, um... That must have been one of the other guys. Maybe the Kaplan did that, I don't know. Seems they just want to go on up with him. There's about five or so minutes of back and forthing, as they don't let, like, they're, none of them make a move to, like, tell you to come onto the ship. They all just kind of, like, lean against the edge and just, like, talk to you while you're on the dock. Yeah. Um, in this time, Osiris, you've been following the very clear only other footsteps on this beach. Um, because there's literally only the party's footsteps. And so, follow wherever the headache gets worse. Yeah. <laughs> um, and you keep heading in that direction, and after about five or so minutes of walking, you see this lone ship sitting on a one branch with, like, it's not, like, a massive distance from the rest of the ships, but there's a clear point where other ships aren't docked near it. Um, and you can see what is clearly Xavier uh, talking to a group of sailors on the dock. Um, about this time... Uh, when you're like, as you if you as you're getting closer to approach, there's some talk up on the deck, and one of the a couple of the sailors get off and like quickly move away as someone calls out like back to work and they move away and there's one of these like all right, you might as well come up here and have a word with the boss. Thank you for letting me come aboard. Thank you for the permission to come aboard, Captain. Whatever. Get aboard the ship. <laughs> Osiris probably maybe 15 feet away and you see him continue to walk onto the boat it never be easy can it of course not <clears throat> as you step onto the boat you see uh, you see uh, a person a one uh, who basically looks like what like he's dressed like Captain Hook in Peter Pan frilly hat and everything, though it's like much like a, a blue 
than this like maroon color and uh, he seems to be black scaled and instead of one of his reptilian arms he just has what you can determine uh, to be the art of a warforged make your acquaintance uh, sorry for any prior confusion I am having some memory issues uh, I, last I remember I was on a ship and when I woke up it was walking out of the jungle yeah and, uh, it does that oh so that's that's a normal thing <laughs> I, I don't even know I don't even remember getting in the jungle though um, wow, that's only stories. Uh, but it makes sense. Four days ago, you, your cat friend, and uh, that girl dressed in black all came up here, heard a talk, asking me to take you somewhere. I think it was Gislaine, and then I said, well, if you're not gonna help the greater cause here, to fuck off. And then we had a conversation about that. What uh, greater cause was that? Freeing the KC from the Rahanai cartel. Sent a message for you. Said we're going to be about a week here still. You're lucky we've got about two more days. And then I thought you died in the jungle. Well, apparently not. I'm alive and I'm well, apart from so many things. So, what exactly do you need dealing with the cartel? Killing any of the admirals, mostly. Oh, I think I killed one, but well, one died, um, distance his eye patch. You did say how super cool you were for doing that. I, I didn't kill him, he blew himself up. We were going to interrogate him, I believe, but, uh... Sort of tilts his head at that. If I interrogate, I'm in Zona 2, if I'm a paladin. I can just, uh... Yeah. Me. I'm aware. So, since you're back, I assume that you're not lying. Only a certain skill level can get close. Do you remember which, Admiral? Uh... Had a serpent sword, a caduceus flag, almost. Uh, That's lining up. He seems he's been missing for about the time you've been here. He had an operation on uh, in a monastery. Uh, making the inhabitants uh, I believe they were feeding them sutras and uh, making them more pliable to making them make sutras and instill the drug trade sounds horrible yeah but something in his wheelhouse I still have we still have the book don't we uh, you, yeah. Everything you did? Yeah. Someone does. Hmm. If it's in your inventory, it's in your inventory. Was it me? Not in mine. I think it's still be. What think. was that? Oh, the thing I gave it to you guys. You gave Probably it to Osiris. Us? Yeah, she she gave okay. that all that over. Gave what? The book. Huh? Who? Huh? What? There's a <laughs> you book. You guys remember that? Come on. There's an old book that seems to have like recipes for like dinners and stuff but all the yeah, that one. all the proportions sound like shit and some kind of code thing that you you're going to so. code and um, <laughs> and there's also a, a mini diary oh yeah that's right i think actually i think i had it because i was trying to decipher it by being an eye and uh As an eye. trying to not yeah <laughs> um this this book to be precise and I, I 
present the book. Yeah, he picks it up, starts reading it. Shit, this place would be wacky, eh? Interesting. So are you helping us or are we wasting time here? Um, I, um... There is much unrest where I'm from, but I'd be remiss not to take the chance to help someone else. I, I would need to confirm with the others, but I'm fine with helping you guys out. You seem like reasonable enough people. <clears throat> he tosses the book back. Well, until you get, you know, your entire crew's go ahead that you're going to work on this. Yeah, it's a moot point, yeah. Well, hopefully you don't go into the jungle and lose your memories again. I don't think we're ever going back into the jungle, to be honest. <laughs> Give us a nod. You look... military. Were you trained by a soldier or something? More so a paladin. What all? Haru. Pardon? Haru. Gladiation. Ah. Uh, open sea? Something like that. Not. Um, I'll go check with the others then. Thank you very much for. Shit. Sure. Making sure I'm not going crazy. I thought that was. As you start making your way to the end of the, sh uh, you start making your way to the end of the ship, you see Osiris just like standing, basically the other out of the gangplank, like not on the ship, and the uh, <clears throat> the few just like walks with you to the edge. Basically, says the last bit is like, "Don't lose your damn memories again." Yeah. And it's like looks he just looks directly at Osiris. And, you know, clearly looks at you, waits to see if you have anything to say, and if not, he just turns and leaves. <clears throat> If nothing said as he turns and leaves, is like, I actually come back this time. Maybe that's just to say you won't be helping with the KC. And if it helps swear your friends, sure hopes their monks can handle Zircon's army. Walks into uh, his dock. Captain's quarters. Captain's Door quarters. Closes. And then you ushered oh, down the gangplank by the few do yeah. the, the members of the crew. It's nice, uh, nice talking to you. Um, I remember my first time holding a sword. It was, it was. I don't remember that. It's such a vivid memory. <laughs> anyway, oh, Osiris. So, what's the plan? Going with these guys. Um, that'll be a discussion for everyone, but I have made the decision, and I will be going on my own. Cool. I've been running from my past far too long. And all this. Memory bullshit. Yeah. If anything made me worry that forgetting means worse than death, and I believe I need time to sort myself out if that's really who I want to be. Still angry. <sighs> yeah. Well, good 
Captain Safe. Yeah, we got oh, we got them safe. Okay, it's fine with me. Um, I did everybody else take. Christine, dead of a left fork. Terror, worst of a fork. Our worst. Talking to me, so I've got an idea. Um, put us back to his apartment. I'd rather just be left. Not, uh, not my business to force in somebody who is giving out this fun. I mm. honestly, I, I don't want to go, but. No, 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 it's more like a legal contract saying you have to come back. But then what? No, a, a binding legal contract uh, between you and me that you have to come back when you're ready. There is far too much chaos in this world for that to be the deciding factor. I know. There is a very it's real possibility that the cartel come back and wipe me out with it. Well, the cartel's going towards where Selena is, right? So, I think we're going to go help these guys. That is a... That is probably going to have to happen very soon. I don't think we have a choice. We will post to the rest of the group, and if that's what they wish to do, it's on the way home. I will be able to help with it, especially if they don't drop, I don't even know if I'm going to be ready to confront so far, I think we're best to just go. Do you want them dead? Is the whole reason I'm out and not home for the person I love? I can say this to you as a mom. He's probably been grieving a bit longer than you. This is probably a very similar situation. It's not worth it. I've spent seven years on this. And I'm only finally now getting to the realization that it's not... It's not worth the anger. It's not worth the years, the time. I know it, in the moment it seems like it's the only thing we need to do, but letting go is hard. Vengeance is too deep. That's why I was going home. Good. Well, as of now, I know I can figure that out too soon. I'd say wise beyond my years, but I got probably got more years than wise. Probably got more left in the tooth, if I'm going to be honest. Well, let's go tell everyone, because yeah. if they're heading for Selena, it's not good. Yeah. So as you two turn this out heading back towards where the tower used to stand, you see a pillar of smoke um, starting to rise up kind of in the direction of where um, the, the tower was. Uh, Christine and Terra and Akfa, who's on the way back, you also see this Akfa. Um, <laughs> Christine and Terra, you both spot, uh, see, you don't see it directly, but you hear a lot of fire um, from behind the from behind the tattooist's house. And you see a very large pillar of smoke starting and bright flashings of light as it suddenly starts. It gets a lot warmer in that area. Oh, God. Uh, um, I feel like... Just with just unsure of what exactly... Like, there's no other sounds? Like, there's no sounds of the... Of the Dragonborn lady? Uh, she is in her... Like, she, she was on the porch. You actually look over, she's just asleep. In the walking chair. is placing the fish I... down and running over. I will make my way over to the Ponsignor. I will also make my way over. 
so the three of you start running towards it. It doesn't take long for Akva to catch up. Like you're, you're on the way back, so you're not too far, but you're a little further than the two. You're also faster. Um, mm-hmm. The three of you get closer. They hear the sounds of somatic components, of blasts of flame and whatnot, and turn the corner just in time to see Terra unleashing the last of her spell slots um, into the side of the jungle. Uh... I want to basically run up to Terra, not really, just like, under my breath, just like muttering like, oh, dear god, and just um, The jungle is on fire. Yeah, I've rushed to her, I'm just basically just grabbing her arm so she stops casting anything else. The moment you grab Terra's arm, she slaps you away and glares. <laughs> like, what is, does her reaction stay when she looks at me? Yeah, she is just glaring. What has you angry, Terra? Her glare just kind of turns to the Kubra. She's just, she's not speaking. The fire mm-hmm. behind her flickers a bit, jumps to another tree and starts to spread uh, a bit further. I, I will, I'm not the best with putting this out. I get people, get her up. Um, also, it is raining oh, right like, now. Like, points to the dragon, like, to yeah. the house of the dragon. Okay, good. Well, At least let her know that this is happening right outside her house. I'm saying, so Sylvie's here. Yeah. Christine's here, Terrence. Well, here. Uh, okay, Christine, keep an eye on Terra. I don't let's think let's she's... Go. Sylvie, wake up the old lady. I'm going to see what I can fi- uh, who I can find to help throw sand at this. Yep. She just and... walks around the front of the house and it's like, uh, wakey, wakey! Uh, the jungle's uh, on fire! Might uh, move to the beach. Well, <clears throat> looks to give me a better view. <laughs> she gets up and, like, looks at the fish and goes, oh, fish! <laughs> and <laughs> starts moving around. Looks at, like, leans on the side of the house, sees Terra and Christine, and uh, looks at the fire and just, like, kind of takes a few steps back and just, like, just stands there to kind of watch the fire. Uh, and so, like, look at her, like, make eye contact, eye contact shrug. <laughs> shrug stand <too>. with her. <laughs> watch the fire. As, as they both, like, sort of move out, I'm going to once more just sort of reach my hand out slower this time uh, towards Terra's shoulder. The moment your hand gets near Terra's shoulder, she slaps it away again and just gently touches it. Yeah, it's back. Terra. And she just kind of goes in for just a very, like, she just quickly, like, goes for a hug. Not she just straight goes for a hug. Yeah, it's like there's there's like hesitation on words that she wants to say. She, she kind of looks down, and uh, almost like tiny bit of understanding, and then just hugs you. I mean, she does make this spell slot, so you know. Terra took steps back. Would you be able to avoid the hug, or is it like a to make that unavoidable? It can be. I want to see if that's what says. If 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 you if like she try she tries to be sort of, like, sort of quickly go for the hug if you step back at all it like stops halfway through she holds her arms like close to her. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to check. Wait for it. At the same time you do that. you rush into the town. Um, oh, shit, you, I can find him. Yeah, uh, people start to notice this pretty uh, uh, pretty quickly. Initially, a few people are like, well, I'm not helping with that, and then someone smacks them in the head, it's like, you idiot, this city is made of wood! <laughs> it's like, oh, fuck, you're right. And then, like, a, you easily gather, uh, like, a dozen people, the, the soon as you get, like, a little bit in, like, the, or the four or five ships around, a bunch of people jump off and start running to help you out, mm-hmm. because I feel if we'll enough sparks make them. it into the city, this whole city would be on fire. I, I feel will shout out, if you've got a bucket, fill it with water, bring it. If not, you get something to throw sand. Yeah, it's uh, unsurprisingly people who live on the city made of wood. They're pretty good at knowing how to deal with fire. Um, so you see people like yeah grabbing buckets, quickly filling them with salt water. People grabbing like uh, spades and like running towards the beach. Um, so it's the same as 
Christine and Tara as you're having your thing. There's just this sudden arrival of like a dozen and more showing up in a bit, um, various scale folk in the background. Just like all kobolds with fucking shovels. Just various scale folk. Kobolds! Denon? Uh, would you say I could trigger my fling of the summer fae, considering I've just done all this fire damage? Yeah. Yeah. So, when Christine goes to hug Kara, Kara just kind of erupts in flames and shoves Christine back, repeating, Don't touch me. You see the sudden burst outburst from her Christine. The terror literally lights on fire for a moment and like pushes you back and still has these like traces of flame licking up her arms and across her body. At first she's kind of shocked. Um, but I still think once more she instead of this time will hold her hand out as if to reach out for hers. Kara turns away, picks up her soul, which is probably nearby, and just walks off in the same direction. I follow behind, just in a bit, so I'm still following. She is kind of very quietly muttering. You might kind of pick up a few words here and there. Stuff along the basis of bad family, bad family. So Cyrus and um, Xavier, you guys get back. Uh, I'm assuming you moved at a decent pace. Yeah. Uh, seeing the sudden fire? pillar of smoke. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then the trees sliding on fire. Um, but you guys get back to see this like horde of now about two to two and a half dozen um, various scaled folk uh, desperately like throwing sand and water at the fire, like put out what's the what they can. A few don't want to go too far into the jungle, but some like make a few steps in to throw something and like run out, like oh god, it's gonna get me. Um, you, but it, it seems that the shit on people, and I assume Ark will be helping as well, they're mm -hmm. doing a pretty good job of getting it under control. And yeah, you, you guys can probably, pretty much from the other side, you see uh, Terra walking away, and Christine following behind her a little ways off. Alright, it's time for dad runs. We're gonna go quickly run up to Christine. <laughs> As soon as, she, as soon as you get close, I, like, see you running, I look at you, I just give you the, the most stern, like, like, sort of shake of don't, don't. No, 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 we need, come on. I'm Discussion. casting Charm Person at, uh, first level using my, my eyes, giving him disadvantage on the roll, and if he, uh, fails, I'm immediately gonna use Heartbreaker. Go ahead, roll that, it's a charm. You already have, dis you already have advantage, don't you? Yeah, I have advantage. Alright, cool. Just roll a flat wisdom save because it's forced diffs. Uh, 14. That is a failure. I'm you going are... to just succeed. Yep. You're using. Uh... Okay. Alright. Yeah, but uh, he, wouldn't use a... he wouldn't use a godly thing for this. Yeah. I wouldn't say. Yeah. <laughs> uh,. So what's the total? Fourteen plus. Uh, well, do not include me. Or, do not include me. Yeah, don't yes, include Christy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if their accounts would go for it. What's the DC? Uh, the DC I think is either sixteen or seventeen. I can't remember exactly. I'm still checking. Let's see, he. That's it covered him, by the cover. Akfer. Sixteen. Oh, so Akfer, uh, Osiris, and Sylvie. How close do they have to be? Yeah, it's like thirty feet. Yeah, thirty feet. Be then, yeah. very close to including Akbar. <laughs> so, with a 14, 15, 16, so if Akbar's not included, it's only a 16. Oh, that just, that just passed. I'm back over near the, um, near the house, like, True. I don't think I'd be close enough. Which is, and and is do I have so to, like, really I've got help Slara. with that? Because I'd be more on Christine's side about that. Uh, Slayer has so. been desummoned for several days. Oh, yeah. oh they have. It's only does, a possible one. Does Terra count? Hmm? Does Terra count? I think Terra's anyone's ally at the moment. Yeah, yeah I think that we're, we're her enemies. 
You still want to still want to choose to succeed? <laughs> well, I got inspiration. Go for it. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, does it. All right. First things first, to better explain it. Uh, you feel a wash of magic. I've got a similar issue to like a command in the sense where it's it's not her usual charm, where she's like trying to force something onto you, and you can almost feel like that something within it is trying to stop your entire movement as well. Uh, but it fades. Uh, from using the charming eyes, I then get to do a lovely roll. Nice. Uh, I then want to do that. I want, as as I notice that I suddenly turn inferior, I'm going to move basically behind uh, Xavier. Yeah. And as I reappear. Behind him, in a stern voice, I'm just going to say, Do not dare come close right now. This is not the time for this. Selena is in trouble. We need to go. Everyone always says her name wrong. <laughs> Selena? It's no. Selena. Selena. I don't like it, I don't have an accent. I couldn't. <laughs> you, you see, the pause is. Definitely there. Her eyes wide. But then she looks back to Terra. It's like, it can at least wait. A... <laughs> Just don't follow. There's an entire fleet coming for her. We need to go back. No. Five minutes is enough. And she moves on. I'll go get the others. All right. And moves, and moves to kind of go back to Terra. Attempt to help out with the fire if the fire hasn't already been put out. Or I'm keeping the Dragon Ball Lady company. I'm just like making small talk with her. I'm like, so, is the jungle often light on fire? Has this happened before? Sure, there's some pyromaniacs around that would probably try and set it on fire. No? Maybe? So, she's just watching the fire and she's like, you know? I don't think anyone's lit the jungle on fire before. You'd think someone would be pissed off from a friend going in there and not coming back. Ah, uh, see, most people... I look at him and she, like, points to one of the, the a kobold who, like, throws, a, like, a shovel full of sand onto, like, a shrub and, like, puts it out. The dude, the kobold took, like, about six or seven steps into it, and then as soon as the, the sand leaves the shovel, he's, like, turning and bolting out of the jungle. But that's how most people treat it. I don't really want to even get near the damn thing. Yeah. It's, it's, why I my, check. it's why I built my house here. Well, I built it here a year ago, but, uh, you know, it gives me a nice little bit of privacy. Also, a bit of mystique. Some people would think crazy old dragon lady on the beach living near a cursed jungle. I don't want to go near her or give her trouble. She'll put a hex on you or something. <laughs> I like you. I like me too. <laughs> she just smiles at that. <laughs> Rose looks at the fish in her hand and goes, well, I'm gonna go cook this, as <laughs> like, starts walking back into the house. I guess I better help put the fire out with, you know, the nothing that I have to put it out. I'm sure there's a spare shovel somewhere. Yeah, it's easy. Like, people were, like, passing buckets up from the beach, like a pile of them by the, like, the water. There's a handful of shovels. <laughs> she just, like, sort of slowly, like, moves up and just grabs a random shovel and just sort of helps a bit. Yeah. It doesn't take much longer, like, the, the fire that's high up on the trees gets put out by the rain itself. And it's still a rather light rain, but it is picking up a, a bit more as it goes more towards midday. Um, and the, the, all the fires that are lower down either get water thrown at them or sand dumped on them. And it takes about another 10-15 minutes to get the rest of it under control, but luckily you guys spotted this before, it was, before Terra was able to do too much more, or it got out of control. It's a good thing ferns don't burn particularly well. Yeah, so there's Sylvie, Osiris, Xavier, and Arkfer here on the beach. And then Christine yeah. and Terra 
now a decent ways down the beach, away from this place, if Terra just kept walking. Does Terra stop at any point? What happens when you hit the end of the beach? I turn another direction. <laughs> See, here's the issue. If you keep walking along the beach, then the only then you'll pass the edge of the city where there's no more boats pointing out this far, and then all the only other directions back the way you came or into the jungle. To <laughs> the jungle ship, I don't know. You're the six, right? You could turn into a fish. Well, I was contemplating it. <laughs> okay, Tara will. She'll just get to the edge and she'll just sit. Imagine the fun catching back up a little bit after uh, the thing with Xavier. It's just like catching your breath a little bit at the hecticness. And then just, I guess, kneeling probably 15 feet behind her. Just to, uh, unsure exactly what to say. So probably after three minutes. Silence. She picks up. <laughs> she uh, she'd probably have put Barry on the best she can again. Look, Tara, I. I can only imagine what exactly. What exactly you must be feeling from this, but. He's not gone, going to be gone forever. That's not. I. <sighs> I. I. I'm worried too that it's. that that might. he might not. But. He promised me, he said he would, and he said we can go see him ever, so... Please... Please, Tara... It... It'll be alright... Tara just turns her back to his room. She kind of get up a bit, and move forward. From, I, I remember you telling me that this sort of thing doesn't sit the best. And she sits down kind of nearby. I, I, I'm with you on this. I really am. I might not be able to understand the intensity. But I can at least offer a hand and understanding in some way. I just I'm just worried that something I say might not exactly come across how it how it should and I might make it worse. I don't want to talk. I don't want to be touched. So go and leave me alone. She gets up. She moves away about five feet. Hands back. Looks. And then she turns away to. Genuine? No, she has a spell slot. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, 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 I need a, I need a wait. 
That's the problem. Like when you when you do that in that, I'm like, this isn't private chat. Is this genuine? Because you can cut me off of whatever. Um, yeah, basically she turns back, looks at you, and as she kind of looks away, she's going to turn back forward with more heavy steps than before. Just under her breath, she just says, I'm sorry, Sunny, I can't. Sorry. And then she just goes back. So you start walking back. What's the other group doing? I mean, after the fire's been like sorted out, does anyone sort of relay information about what's happening? Yeah. Oh, so we're going with a few kiss then? Yes. Um, Excellent. Um, uh, where's the ship? Over there. I'll see you there. Yeah. <laughs> she just, just walks off. Sylvie. Yes. I think you're forgetting a few people's opinions. No, uh, we're going there. You did say that uh, your friend was in danger, yes? Selena's Unfortunately, in we still have people by the looks of it that haven't come to a decision. Okay then. Damn, I make sure I look at Xavier. I made a promise to her mother to keep her alive. And I'm not saying we won't fulfill it. Good. We have an understanding. But you are impatient. When it comes to our mother, there's this one tiny eye, and only one capable spellcaster there. I must not hesitate on this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just thirsty. But Why I'll wait. are you still here? I said I was waiting, you're all talking, I'm just going to wait. I'm being patient. I'm sorry, Osiris. Look, I look to Osiris. I'm sorry, this is seemingly one of your last days with us has to look. I'm gonna be honest, it's not instill me with confidence, but he's gonna have to work. I'm gonna go make sure the old lady is alright. Can I trust one of you to go find Christine specifically? Yeah. You'll probably see her walking back at this point in the line. When I say one of you, I don't mean you, Xavier. There she is. No, there she is over there. I don't see the other one though. Probably not a good sign. Is the old lady still sitting on the porch just watching she, the fire? She's she cooking the already. fish. <laughs> Black was gonna go knock. Sort of open the door a little. Uh, do you need a hand with any of that? Are you alright? Who are you talking to? Like, literally, like, just slight gap in the old lady's door as it's open a tiny bit to ask. I don't know what I'm doing with fish. Fish, what do, you what do you think I eat all day? Fair point. We uh, may have to put a hold on that uh, tattoo idea, but I wouldn't really love to at least see a concept. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm here. I ain't going nowhere. Concept's Certainly done. Not that jungle. <laughs> Certainly not in jungle. Don't come back. Man, I, I love that lady. I've got the design <laughs> all written up in the book. So, whenever you want. I want to be with her. Alright, so Christine has walked back over at this point? Yeah, I imagine at this point, like, she, you can probably tell she's slower walking back, but probably has walked back up. Just I'm not expecting many words. You. Just a simple... Shake up or down on whether it was good. She looks at you. I don't think she even needs to make a motion. Alright. You can tell. 
is like that familiar guilt. Give her a few hours. We're probably gonna have to leave first thing in the morning, either with or without her. She'll be at least safe on the island. I'm just making that clear, Christine. I think the rest of us should, uh, pay the rest of the day and make our decision as a group. That last part said out loud. If that's what you all want, I'm... I'm going to think it's fair. <laughs> it's not what all of us want, trust me. Just says that kind of in a silent quiver and just doesn't look at anyone. And Quiz kind of walk to the water's edge for the time being. I was told that there are pirates heading in Salinas' direction, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I suppose specifically, I'll have helping with little bits of cleanup that might be left as he's heading that way. As everyone sort of mulls around, you can all think of what you want to say. Um, I think this would be the consequence of my actions. There, I said it. <laughs> That's fair. Um, we'll call for a break. Good, I got to do my jewel link. Heck yeah! Alright, I'll be back. Mm -hmm. How'd you guys like the consequences of your actions puzzle? This weren't even my actions. This is, a, this is a party breakup puzzle. I think it is. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I think it is. Is my character going to die off screen? No, I think you'll Find have some next help. Time. I, I think you'll have some help, just half of the party. Okay, listen. What'll happen is we just reconvene back in Gizlay. Not in, not in Gizlay, in Stormcaller's Bay, we get Narissian and Christine, we're good, everyone else, that's just a new character. <laughs> uh, I can also uh, kill the party. That's a 10th level spell. spell. That's a, that's a 9th level spell, mate. That's 10th, okay. it kills you as well. <laughs> I never pretended to be uh, family, I never pretended to be important. Leave me out of this shit. Then why are you coming? Because it's a job, dude. What it's are a you? Contract. <laughs> I'm a shroud member. <laughs> when, uh, a contract. When, <laughs> when Fig was like, I'm thirsty, I was like, Thirsty? <laughs> yeah. What regard? And yeah, Darren, be like, yeah, we know. And Darren was like, What do you mean? I'm like, I honestly don't. Wine, dick, water, all of them necessary. Yes. <laughs> Just yes. My, my inner thoughts was like, we know. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say it. It was huh? the perfect moment. See, this is actually everyone else's fault for putting too much faith into one person. They can't take it. It's too I much. I only want to go with a few. Hey, I didn't put my entirely my faith into you. Just 80% of it. Just so I say, uh, thank you for the sub, Nox Sky 4. Thanks for participating. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ban him? You can try. I'm, I'm not mod. sure. <laughs> you are a mod. I am mod. Wow, this is going to be a very interesting next couple of sessions if the party is like, breaking up this much. Yeah, don't, I... please. <laughs> no, do what you want. I, 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 but I also, didn't please. Know what was going to happen? <laughs> what, if I, what if I did, though? What if you go for it? Do it. I don't care. I, I'm joking, Lisa, please. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. But also, I... it'd be funny. It'd be real funny. It'd be hilarious. Also, please don't. I don't want to write five things. This was written so already. We're missing a possible terror, and a and a Christine, and and a Cyrus. We have two, three people. 
I've got one original member of the gatekeepers who also abandoned the party at some point. So no one... <laughs> Everyone's abandoned the party. <laughs> so everyone's at fault. Hey, we all have abandonment <laughs> issues. I've done my job. <laughs> Look, guys, I just, I just want to play a different character. Why are you guys going to make me feel bad for wanting to do that? That's hey, good. Look at what happened to me when I wanted you're, to do it. You're not the cry. reason. You're not the reason for okay. me, mate. Yeah, but hang on a minute. I feel like this is way more than when Selena left. Like, Selena left, like, and it was bad, but it was bad. this is already worse. People were kind of, like, yeah, nice Selena. about it because she was sort of forced to. It, look, look it, it's also the word. As expected and is known she's going to come back. From Kara's point of view, Osiris is abandoning her because it's her family who died abandoned her. So he's a bad pop. You but have no basis for your facts. They, like, the, like, one of the big things, like, when I heard about this thing for Osiris, I was like, man, yeah, the party's gonna be a little bit lost, I guess. And Terra's gonna fucking do something drastic. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I straight up said. Like, Terra is gonna break. <laughs> Whether it's herself or anything around her, that's the difference. Yeah. Breaking point at the moment. No, I'm, I'm, gonna the say, going I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say both. <laughs> Definitely people. Mm -hmm. I'll, tell you, I'll tell you that much for free. Definitely people. My poor innocent jungle. It hasn't done anything. Not that we remember. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, you, you, you sort of, like, don't judge the emotional, like, responses of, like, a character that's kind of like a child. Because children say shit that is kind of mean, but, like, yeah, but it's then just an you emotional also know response. That they're children in this aspect. She's not a child. Yeah, and also add on the aspect, she knows who she's like, you know who she's talking to, right? The volatile one. Terra is kind of like, young, young acting though, like she's sort of not the She's best, childish, like. she's very childish. Yeah, she's, she's an immature mind, like, it's sort of, that's kind of to be expected, like. I think that it's a, an apt response. Oh, I'm not saying it's not. What I miss? Just, you're making me feel bad, the player. Please stop. <laughs> I mean, after the shit that she said to fucking Christine, like, oh, I'd be walking away struggling to sleep after that. Yeah, but I, but I have to pause. Okay, you live yeah. breathe for this. I do, I do breathe for this. <laughs> but I had to pause because I was like, oh, well, that's the first time someone's ever said that to her. And, yeah, holy shit. Oh, okay. Somebody's not treating me like a delicate flower. Yeah, and I was just like, <laughs> I was like, oh. And a childish character as well. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a learning sort of thing. The goody two shoes that have been trying to suck up to you for months. She pretty much told you where well. Yeah. <laughs> How the ta tables have turned. I don't need your help. Go away. <laughs> okay, well then. So have people just been uh, thinking? No. But we're making Jeremy feel very bad. Jeremy. If it makes you feel any better, I'm not very helpful here, but you're cute. <laughs> uh, that's another thing, when, Osiris, when Arkville was like, I don't want to see you leave, <laughs> to Jaren, but I love watching you walk away. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Osiris. <laughs> the, the dumb comments we make to each other during sex, are my favourite things. Yeah. From Arkville's perspective, he's understanding. He's just expressing that he's sad to see him leave. Sylvie will never the one understand with... just how much he's changed since he met the Minotaurs. Sylvie will never understand. <laughs> I had a I had a Ricky line when if Dimitri was like I don't I don't know you it's like and after you got me drunk how scandalous! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Just, I'm, I'm worried. Like I'm genuinely worried we're about to lose the last um, real member of the uh, gatekeepers. Look, you keep saying real member, right? I say real member because if he was here when it was uh, formed. So was Xavier. Xavier is not was not there. It was his other identity. Oh, I meant like the the, the name gatekeepers was my wasn't made identity until after I know. Xavier was in. But I guess I, I see what you mean. 
Arthur is the have. last. You just gotta remember Arthur who Arthur and used as a family in this group. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll save you. I'm not sure if you're there mm. for it, Sam, but I'm like, yeah, like if we only have these people left, everyone's abandoned the party at that point, <laughs> including Arthur. Yeah. <laughs> Selena's coming back, I Everyone else was just, he was a trendsetter. Yeah. Everyone's catching up. <laughs> Everyone hated him, but he was actually doing it before it was cool. Selena's coming back, I swear. No, she's gonna die. No! Don't kill my character off screen! I'm gonna start doing the Chetney thing where I roll a D100 every day to see if I die. <laughs> I can't kill my character. It's okay, uh, I think the DMs wouldn't do that to you. Who's All missing? Hope not. We did a side session for Octopus one time. You might need a few more of those. nearly one shot me on the first bloody attack. Yeah, that was funny. I can't, you can't do you that to me. No, I didn't even get the chance to retaliate. It was just. <laughs> Literally a turn one crit for almost lethal. The only reason I survived is because they let me use my reaction to rage. I was kind, and you didn't want to be kind. He fucked around and he found out! The fucking around was leaving the party. The finding out was the hippogriff. I agree, but turn one crit. <laughs> And Arthur DM. came back from that better because of the Minotaur. Yeah, he did. The, the DM that's usually, like, lenient on stuff, AJ, was not lenient, and the frickin', like, rules Nazi DM, Darian, was... Gonna be honest what? with you, frankly, Darian is more lenient than I am when it comes to shit like that. Because I'm, I'm for the chaos, I want to see what happens. <laughs> When I feel bad, then I then I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I didn't feel bad at the moment. No, it was I, fucking I, amusing. I won't lie. It was amusing. It was just like, oh, <laughs> it was like, oh my god, <laughs> this is the, like, the end of our first story. We still have Edexira's story to do. <laughs> That's still written up and ready to go at some point. Jeez. Oh, uh, who's missing? Is it Tara? Um, is it the? Is it the camera? No, nah, Bob Cameraman. Bob Cameraman doesn't need a tip. No, I've, I've, I've put a cross down. Demi. Demi has ZZZ. I'm assuming it's Demi. Probably Demi. Dimitri. Don't go to bed, Dimitri. Demi. He's probably eating dinner. <laughs> Demi, don't go to bed. God damn it. I'll say yeah. We actually when um when uh bloody when you change characters, man. We had yeah, we had a whole side we had a whole side section set up specifically for her to show you like what she'd do after the party left and like what was lined up next for her. And we've just never had time to do it. It's like we have a, a document we keep going, like the the most the next session is like the last thing on the document and then below that is her side story thing. It's still oh my sitting. God. Hey, yeah. I got a fun fact for you, buddy. What? You're not gonna get any more time. Yeah. It's, it's, it's only gonna get worse, my friend. It's session 25.1, and next hour is no good, very bad day. <laughs> half, the, half the entire show. Okay. Yeah, it was literally yeah, fucking hell it was. Damn. I'm just curious what happens if Christine does leave us here. Well, so am I. <laughs> so am I. We're all curious. The, the, I'm also curious. The logic this entire week has been... Like, yeah, the party's gotta go down one path. And then, I feel like we can get Tara to come with us. Just need her. And now there's four paths. <laughs> yeah, that's the only just... person who's going to have a fucking chance is Arthur. To be totally honest. Look, he's trained people, kids, but Tara's a different breed of kid. You kind of talk the the, the the hard truths though in a good way. There's sometimes like people are like sugarcoating it. You'll kind of be like, hey. It sucks, but get over it <laughs> in like He's the nicest way back. possible. The sooner you get over it now, the more shenanigans you get up to later. Your family's dead, is get over it. Down so much worse because that is just shoving in that she is being abandoned by a fire even more. That is just gonna be like even worse. So what I'm if hearing is there's no, the there's no good. Support. The next thing what I'm, what I'm hearing is there's no right answer because either way is wrong. No, I have uh, plans. I have plans, and I'm just. You, we're waiting on Demi. I, I took the right way. It was apparently wrong. <laughs> I mean, you were also being told to just keep an eye on it, so... Yeah. And I didn't, because it was worse. You did your fucking best. I mean, did so I had to take you. one right way, and the right way was Osiris doesn't abandon the party. Mm, <laughs> so if I were to, so we like... failed step one. We are in our... Go on. If Selena would, would, would oversee all this stuff, she would be like, I'm sorry, Christine, you did very good. 
You tried. Okay. I'm very sorry that this has happened. This is my fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really like it. It's like, it shows how much Osiris is important to the party because she burnt down her beloved jungle. Like, that was her friend. Yeah, that's that's where she met Barry. Barry came from. I'm back. <laughs> Alright, I'm back. She doesn't need friends anymore. <laughs> There's no need for a jungle if no one's here Just with me. <laughs> Alright. As we uh, jump back into it, uh, the, the five of you are all chilling at the back of. Um, old Stitch, old Stitch's house. What are you doing? Five, yes. Everyone except Carol. Sorry, right, Matt, yeah. It is basic <clears throat> math. I suppose one of us should speak, other than standing here awkwardly. Um, excuse me, this fish bone. Um, mm. Well, yeah, so. I thought you asked what it was. Xavier, you came yes. back telling us that, let me get this straight, our party member that we left on an island is in danger. Yes. You know okay. those, uh, you know those pirates? The ones Sylvie killed? Or the ones we killed? The ones we killed, but also that Sylvie killed. Because they're the same clue, technically. Okay, well, gets, let's just round this up. Get straight to the point. How much time do you think we have? I have no idea. All I know is that there's an armada coming for that island. And you think we have enough firepower to take on an armada? No. I know we don't. At least then what would you propose? A rescue mission? Get in, get them out, run? Well, the, what's happening is... We're going to go with Ophiuchus. He apparently has a plan. Who is deal... Ophiuchus? The captain of that ship that we went on that you've forgotten. He's given me the details. Apparently... I remember. I personally eat my fish. Kuvira, the person in this journal, they're probably going to come at the island or the Sultis. Mm -hmm. And if it's not there, well... Which it won't be. You can assume what's going to happen next to the people of the island. Okay. Say we put our trust in Selena's ability to look after herself just for a little. Do you really think she's going to go down? She wouldn't try to get them out of there. I mean, I believe that's what she'd be doing. But against... And hear me out on this. An armada. If she's the only capable mage there I trust, I don't think she stands much of a chance. Good lens. <laughs> Somebody sent her a warning? Does did, did she even know about this? One night is all I need I to just her, and that's that. fine. Then, how about I throw a different suggestion before we all get ahead? First off, yes, one of you send a message to give a warning, but there's one very vital element that could help us save her, and she's not here with us right now. Have you? Do you remember back in the desert what happened to one of those carts? Yes. Was it a... Uh, Tidal wave of sorts? Also, yes. And how would you take down a ship at sea? I. There's no need to be facetious, I see what you're getting at. Me going there is not going to help. I'm Everyone not asking else who's you. gone isn't going to help. You're the only person who hasn't gone that might be able to help. I'm I not can asking. send a warning, but who's in that armada is the person who the whole reason I'm on this journey to begin with. Then let me cut straight to the chase. Cyrus, I'm going to go see if I can find Terra. I'm going to try and hear her out. I'm not going to change her mind right away. What I need you to do is get Redhead there. Red face there. Red, I was going to say which one. 
and to try and think rationally about uh, getting in and out rather than an attack plan. Sylvie, you're good at escapes. So you help out with this. Christine, mm -hmm. you keep it together, please. Response. Good luck. Um, also, which way was she? That way. Point to the direction where Christine just came from. Thank you. And Arthur's going to wander off, giving them a chance to plan, I guess. I'm going to be very forthright here. I'm not very good at naval tactics. I'm more of a land general. I don't understand what the ship will have in capabilities of fighting, but I'm not sure what the enemy ships have. Osiris. So, yes. You plan on going back to your family, yes? Yes. Would you happen to know anyone around that area? I'm not saying your home specifically, but maybe surrounding areas that might have the manpower to protect this place. That might be willing to help prove uh, it a coin. Nobody wants to stand against the cartel. Honestly, I'm surprised we found the captain who actually wants to do anything about it. That is very the, fair. The cartel isn't a new development. They've been around for a while. I think that Ifukus plan to go here and deal with this. I'm sure he has some tricks up his sleeve. He wouldn't be throwing himself into near death. Things back to Would the you that we be saw. interested in possibly going with him and seeing this out? Since then, you can go home afterwards. That, I, I was already considering that had a feeling, but I didn't want to assume. Worst that way... Scenario, I might be able to hide her out on my island. My island. Yes. My family's island. I was thinking, if worst comes to worst, you don't have to fight, you can escape. <laughs> you know the land a lot, the seas land a lot better than most others. I just, if Zircon is there, I can't make any promises, because I don't know what I'll do if I see him. I mean, you could kill him. At, at the guess. risk of killing dozens, if not hundreds, of others as a result of my poor judgement, it's possible, that's why I'm giving a warning. I don't know what I'll do. I'm honestly just trying to come up with ideas to fix this problem. Uh, it just, it seems like most people want to maybe get out of the KC, and considering you weren't planning on getting out of the KC, then maybe you go with a few as much as I don't really and... want to. Ah, <sighs> he was quite the sight. Anyway, as this conversation, the boring, Captain. As this conversation's going on between the two of them, Goku tries to touch the sword. The usual thing, compelling you to not do it. You don't want to start. I'll let it fade in. I just feel at the same time as Christine wanting to go to Tempest Bay, and Tempest Bay seems to be a rather dangerous area for all of you. Some of us can shapeshift. I think Christine, you can do that. You can change your form. If given time, yes. Why are you worrying about that now? Because you're worried. Because you're wanted with the death. With death on your head. Doesn't matter where I go. To... Doesn't matter if I'm wanted or not. Gizane wants me dead for a different reason. That is correct. I was just saying. Don't you have that, that Triton friend of yours there? She doesn't respond. If you do go there. Who will find him? Tell him that we're going to need some assistance soon. What's it called? Sylvia, where's the place that uh, Sybil was oppressed in, uh, in the Amrician Empire? Where's that place specifically? Samaria? 
from Cimmeria. Pretty much all of Cimmeria is going through civil uprest. Yeah, but you've mentioned a specific place. Illila is not so good at the moment. Uh, yeah. Honestly, most of Samaria is is kind of fucked. All right. Um, well, are we talking about the Warforge? Yeah, the Warforge. Because that's extra fucked. Well, that's the Soulforge mostly. So that where, where is the Soulforge again? Is that like Samaria? Okay, so it's it's just in Samaria. It's not in like a town specific city Ooh, specifically. So it's the Kingdom of Sonaris. Um, <laughs> right, Samaria the is city. city. Of Samaria. Right. It's in the city. Sonara, Sonia, Samaria. The big one is Samaria. Yes, Samaria is probably the worst off at the moment. Alright, um, if you can, um, could you try to convince them to go to do some things in Samaria? We need intel on what's happening there. I'd rather go in there knowing what's happening, god rotations, that sort of stuff. It seems like the kind of guy that can get that. Once I hit civilization again, I'm hoping that I can maybe get a little bit of a dig on information about what is actually going on through others of my shroud members. That is fair. It's just I'd rather have someone there before we get there so we have more access to more information from a first house perspective and from a grander scale. Um, also a little hard for me to uh, get that information since I'm on deep cover. Yeah, that's fair. Christine, you don't have to come with us if you don't want to. She looks a bit surprised that you're kind of letting her go in that regard, but she doesn't say anything. I trust you to be safe. You know, I know what you have in Tempest Bay. I know what you have at risk. At the tower, or at the, um, on the island, where Selena is. I'm not asking you to choose, because that would be cruel. I'm telling you, if you want to go home, if, if you want to go to where your mother is, go to where your mother is. We've got, we've got Selena safe. We can protect her. It's Selena, for fuck's sake. And she's not here to correct me. I think I will correct you. <laughs> I have an accent. I'm using that accent. <laughs> God damn it. You should hear how the cat says it. Sardis. Um, I don't know what you're going to do either. But know that I'm placing my confidence in you. If you need me, I'm here for you. Okay? And after all this is said and done, you can go home. You can finally do it. You have me. You just been my man. He nods. After this business is concluded with the cartel, um, I believe the plan will be to get to the... I don't think Tempest Bay would be the best place for us. Um, we could always meet up with Christine, nonetheless, though. Yeah, I believe the plan I would have with that is for her to with Elysian to gather information. At least... I know Christine can cast sending to give us the information. So, meet up in Death Valley of Warforge City? In Samaria. Oof. I just, I don't know where we're landing. That is the, that is the end goal for now. DMs, can I get the map, please? Yeah, sure. sure. I, I want to say just while this is happening as well, like, there's probably just a point where, because Christine plays deep in her own head, she just walks off on her own, doesn't even say she's leaving. Under images, the new shoot is always there. 
I believe the my initial like task was to get people back to the Amarisian Empire, if I remember yeah. correctly. Instead of going straight into the uh Yeah, my marks into the there. Devil's Jaws, wouldn't it be easier to maybe do the thing that I suggested originally and go to Oh well you might not remember that, I don't know. Uh, Amarisian Empire. Get you there. Yeah, that's, that's where Sumeria Get you... is, isn't it? No, that's in Cenaris. Well, Cenaris doesn't really exist anymore. It's part of Amarisian Empire. Uh, I want to, we'll get to the main capital. Tell Honestly, Tell it, what Sylvie would know is that she's got a person that she needs to get to for stuff like this. So you'd probably want to find where they are and then get further instructions from them. Which typically would be in Tempest Bay. Tempest Bay, okay. So, I do not remember that from my notes. No, but that wasn't on your notes. That was just that was we did. If, if uh, there, we had them. We yeah, we discussed where you would get your information from, and we figured that be like you got a handler, and he's probably near the KC, but not in it. Okay, that's easy. So she knows that we need to go to Tempest Bay for that information. Yeah. You would know well, that further instruction. Bay, then. I appreciate uh, my one, two, and three are left on there. I can't find it's them that. Good that we are going yeah. to uh, Tempest Bay. I can catch up with the contact there and I can relay the information of where we could meet up, where it is safer. We could also, while we're there, The lady of the manor, I forget her name, I'm sorry. Yeah. I forget her name too. The... Are you talking about Ariante? Yeah, that one. The whole reason we're here is because of her. I think she will want a I proper I do believe debriefing. I remember you mentioning that somewhat. I believe she will want a proper debriefing. I mean, we sent her a sending message, I believe, but a proper debriefing is better. Plus she helped us, she agreed to help us with the situation in Isla Capital. We don't have the manpower for that yet, but I figure, but it will get deeper if can't fight, can't fight a war on a single front, you have to go. I just feel like it might be best if you stuck with the main group, considering it's going to be hard for you to get back to the rest of us, and considering you aren't planning on leaving for good. Well, not for good, I apologize. Uh, for longer terms. For Osiris. Osiris is planning on having his rest and, and comfort with his family, but yes. you're planning on going to the tower and then finding us again. I just feel like maybe it would be Me. best if you stay Yes. No. You stay with going, us? We're, we're going to we're going with Ophiuchus, right? Ophiuchus has a plan that directly correlates to going to the tower. We are eventually going to go to the tower, I believe. When he says tower, he's talking about where Selena is. Yeah, yeah, I assume. I'm sorry, I mean the temple. My bad. I believe we're going to be concluding our business with the cartel with Ophiuchus here. Then, what I'm saying is, after that, we go into the temple. You seem to be yeah. making a lot of decisions for the party, considering half the party's not here. I'm a general, I delegate. Well, delegate then. That's what I'm doing. No, you're making the decisions for everyone. Delegating is giving the jobs to other people. I General would rather it, uh... General also makes decisions, I am sorry. I don't think that... All of us going... Not all of us, I... I feel like this is something that Osiris should be doing. With a Pucus. We... Should be going to Tempest Bay. I'd love to go with the Fucus, honestly, but at the same time, 
There are more pressing matters. The only train of thought I have was the Fucus the Monk. Is he hung out here? A Fucus is a pirate. I can gather that much from him. But I don't believe he will sell us out the second we get to anywhere. Didn't say he would. He didn't say he would, but I feel like he won't. If we go with another captain, and they see the bounty on our heads, I guess you being in part of the Shroud isn't going to help whatsoever. Considering most of us are wanted dead, not alive. I am aware of this. I am choosing the path which makes us safe, which will make sure that everybody lives. I'll wait for Aqua and Terra to get back and see what they think. She's not inherently wrong. I, I could go there, I could give her a heads up, go there. If it's an imminent threat, get her out. You guys are more than welcome to go. If they see the place cleared out, maybe they'll think that everyone was either already left, abandoned it. They'll think that someone. And since you cut the head off this particular end of the snake, they will start to argue amongst themselves. Hopefully, in the panic. I believe I cut the tail off. I think you were the ones who blew up the head. Thanks for that, by the way. The head blew himself up, but in the confusion and the heated tension, maybe a cannonball fires off and blasts a hole in the ship. And they can all fight amongst each other. We don't have to do anything but watch. He's making a lot of assumptions. I'm mm -hmm. saying this is very much an assumption. <clears throat> I'm not saying this is going to happen. What I will say is going to happen. Is that everybody is getting out of this alive. I made a promise. I intend to keep it. Okay. Well, I'll wait for Ark for Terra to get back. Just going to relax for a little while while we have time. Yeah. I've said my piece. You did. I said fine. Camera hard cuts to Akfa walking down the beach towards Terra. Mm -hmm. As he's approaching, he wants to make a. This guy sound odd. <laughs> a makeshift. Almost like instrument out of his water skin and something to hit it with. Making like a little funnel at the top to amplify the sound. <clears throat> Does that make any sense? I think a mini water drum, I guess. Sure. Yeah. As he gets, he wants to make sure he's in a range where he's not stepping quietly. He wants to make sure. Terra's body reacts to hearing a footstep before he'll stop. So it's up to Terra how close someone can get with that, but I assume she's on a bit of alert. She's just staring at still, not reacting to anything. Just quiet. That's fine. And he's going to get close and stand at the water's edge. Not, you know, keeping some distance, but it, it would be in your side. As he sort of starts playing a Almost tribal like tune, if that makes sense. <clears throat> there once was a tale of Barry the Brave. He fought full and mighty with gusto and sway. I'm sorry, but Tara gets up and she just sits down. Perhaps you should sit down and listen, Tara. She sits and walks off. He will follow and keep it going. Though some called him foolish, he was still brave. What did you make the instrument out of? 
water skin in that. The water skin, that's it? Somewhat, yeah. That, a leaf, and whatever else you could find. Probably like a bit of wood. Your yeah. water skin. And I use my thorn whip to try to grab it and rip it out of his hand. You can you send try. try, yeah. Roll that uh, yes. to hit. He's gonna keep dying no matter what you do here. Uh, a 16 I don't think hits you off of it, does it? It does not. 16? No. Yeah, so you throw the thorn whip out and off his two foot and he <laughs> manages to avoid it. At the sound of a kraken, Barry's tail was waved. I do not recall a hero who ever gave face. I will summon my wild fire spirit and teleport 15 feet away and then just run towards the jungle. How far can I get you? The thing is, uh, with your movement speed and the teleport, that is, I believe, 45 feet, yeah. uh, Mim? That is the same movement speed of Ark for, I believe. I figured it was. It's why is she running towards the jungle? He power walks. <laughs> he just keeps up with it. the sorrow, his tail did end. This is a short little tale of one called Barry the Brave, who fought despite his own feeling for those he cared for. Climb up a tree. Even those who didn't deserve it. To get out of range and try to just disappear into the treetops. I know you can hear me. I didn't share this to convince you of anything, Terra. Just Ooh, to tell the companion I once knew. Here. And if she's hiding in the treetops, he can't see her, right? Well, it's stealth no. check for you and perception check for him. People do not understand that Terra just wants to be left alone right now. It's an 18 stealth to Akra beat that. Akra beats that. <gasps> Holy so you, shit. you climb the tree and you're like, I can get away from him. And Akra is somehow walking below the tree you're always in. Wow. I would like to just start, like, constantly throwing down produced flames at him. <laughs> His companions pushed him away till the very end. Yet he saved them, never turned against them. It doesn't have a moral, exactly. Yeah, you can throw them. And she really just wants to be left alone, and all she's doing is making it much worse. Perhaps your Barry was just as brave. Perhaps if you were willing Ooh. to sit and listen, oh. I could adjust that skull to stay on your head. Roll, roll the, the crit table. Wait, roll the table. <laughs> See if you physically oh, harm right, him. Wait, no, I do have the table. Good. Just oh! Roll. Nah, okay, oh the second one's for heavy. <laughs> no, the second one's only if you if he was at okay. less than half health. Just yeah. Oh my god! So just to let you know, if Arkfa was at less than half health, you would have blown his leg off. <laughs> Holy shit! But he wasn't less than half health. <laughs> so yeah, you just take 25 damage. <laughs> Arkfa just stands there like nothing actually hit him. You get shot in the leg pretty badly, Arkfa, as you finish your story. No. I don't imagine you heard that. Moving, trying to avoid him to the point where, if she has to, she will like get down, dive into the ocean, the wild shape of the sun that can swim, and just get away. He keeps going. When you are ready, Terra, come back. Leave it longer than a day, and the rest of us will probably be gone, though. Your skull will never fit your head. And that one you wanted to call a sister might be gone. That's well, what the table's about. That. You totally could have rhymed that. You Terra is under the water. From the jungle? Under the sea. I'm assuming, like, she's moving around trying to avoid you, so, like, she's going mm -hmm. back towards the beach as you're following beneath her. I imagine our folk can get it out loud enough to still be heard. Yeah, like, he, even jumping out, even, like, climbing out of the tree, running along the beach, this is Arkfa finishes his statement as you dive into the water and turn into some aquatic animal. What happened to her little pet, by the way? The cat? Yeah, when you dive in the water, what happens she to her? She would have probably just, like, seeped off of it. Wild wild shaping? It'll be a second... Well, it's probably, probably decent while running water. towards, she would have probably yeah. summoned to I just wanted to ask, that's all. Because if you left it, I was going to say something to it, but... <sighs> if you want to, you can tell it, you'd say something. mad at you. Hmm? This little angry... would be mad at you. 
Yeah, you see like a little angry puff ball of a red cat. Uh, I believe it's a cat, right? Yeah, it's a little like, cat. Tackles right, oh, yeah. does that like back bend thing? And it's like, except it sounds like a fire when it meows. Oh well, at the end of it, for Terra's sake, because I assume you would be looking to make sure someone's not following you at that point. She doesn't care if she's being followed, she's just trying to get away. Yeah. I just want you on the other side to roll. You will see if you roll high enough in this case. What am I rolling? Just a perception from the water, I guess. Yeah, absolutely, you can see it. Uh, with the chase and everything said, it's whether I don't give a shit whether you listened or not. Aqua made it loud enough that it should drill into anyone's head, but he's pretty much walking away. That echo is not coming from me. Yeah, it's yeah, coming. He's okay. fine. Sorry. Yeah. I'm trying to stuck with it. That's all. Aqua wanted to tell you a tale. He didn't give a shit whether you came back in this particular case. He understands that you're not going to be listening. But he is going to... When I say he's going to head back, he's basically going to head away, f uh, you know, along to a point that's away from the jungle and just watch over the ocean. He will stand there till, you know, sundown if he has to, or until your wild shape is up. Okay. So then, uh, with, I think she can go for three hours, or is it six hours? Is it level or half level? I think it's half level. I think half? I, I remember really getting like. insane pretty early on. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You... It's half level on hours, usually. Uh, you can transform. Transformation last half year or order. Yeah, three hours. Okay, so she's going to be a fish for three hours. So as Ark first sits there, as uh, the morning becomes the, the middle of the day. Um, after about an hour, what what is everyone else doing? Frustrated. Some mildly frustrated. What is this party? Why did, why did it always seem to just split up randomly? Welcome to the club. You know how I have to deal with that guy? You know, honestly, like... He's usually the one that runs up. I'm trying to remember. No. Nothing yet. I wouldn't put it past you, though. What, me? You look like a runoff kind of person. Not really. Well, in my notes that I clearly don't remember when writing them, when I don't write fiction, you clearly ran off and threw yourself in the flowers, apparently. But you, you have notes? Yes, I said that the other day. Can I read them? I will read them too. The bull-headed idiot has decided that throwing himself at poison flowers seems like a good thing to do. The cat thought meditating with them was even better. Never mind, the cat threw himself at flowers as well. Foolishness is contagious, maybe invest in a mask. There you go. Who's the bull-headed idiot? You! You sure about that? Yes! Are you- are you positive that's me? Yes. I don't have a- I don't have a- Did we meet the Minotaur in there? I- I digress. I don't think that is me. I am not that- You bullheaded. are... Bullheaded! Forget it, don't worry. Is- is that some sort of metaphor or anything? Sorry. Yes! I'm not very Bulls good at are stubborn. It's... They do stupid things, they run into things. Yeah. Also, they hate red, which is kind of strange. Funnily enough, I have I had a couple of minotaurs in my tribe and not necessarily hate red. They just uh don't like movement. Where's Christine at this point? <laughs> she didn't go far. No, uh, I said at the um when the map came out initially that she just walked off. She's not far, she's like a minute or two away, just basically just at this point, she's probably just like sat down and she's just like got her own like hands on her head, just unsure. Xavier so. starts like going on about the Minotaurs. <laughs> Sylvie just walks off and goes towards Christine. 
Hold on. Am I? Am I? Am I just taking this as uh, going with the Fucus? Yes, I need to let them know when we're leaving. Wait for the rest of the party. Either way, we need to buy provisions. I'm leaving now. All right. Back off. <laughs> he does. I'm gonna try and uh, so I'm a, I'm a, I'm a still in a single last night with my friends. <laughs> the only person that likes you, except for Cyrus, and he's leaving. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a something Slara, but uh, they're gonna be a warg. Summoner. Hey, Summoner, one eyed warg. How's it going, Slara? You're a good puppy. It doesn't hurt anymore. Oh, God. Are, you, are you okay? Better what? now. You don't... You don't remember? What don't you remember? No. I remember. In the jungle, it hurt. What happened in the jungle? I don't know. You put me away. I put you away? Yes. Do you remember if we encountered anything? Xavier, I'll say for you, Dimitri, this... You remember going into the jungle, fighting the Echoes the first night, setting the tower up, fighting the Echoes that night as well, after desummoning Sclera. So you do remember the first entire day you were in the jungle. You just, in corner of your memories, you then left. Okay. Are we sure about that? Because I forgot up until... Yep, good point. Yeah, Good it's... point. Oops. Never mind. We... <laughs> I forgot about that. We fought a bunch of white, shiny things. One was really big. But the jungle it didn't like me. Felt sick. Put me away. Same with the little one. That is someone? No. Oh. Um. Was that us? This is all in Goblin. <laughs> yeah. Which the world can speak. <laughs> By I the way, I meant for everyone who's like, oh, Slayer's never spoken before. This is why Slayer can speak now. What's that is? If someone's evil, um, Slayer has given me some information about what happened in the jungle. Are you okay? I just want to be with you. Hi. Feeling better? Mm-hmm. Do you remember what happened in the jungle? It was all foggy, and I got really sleepy, and then it hurt, and then Dad put me away. All of that also rings true. Yeah, all of this rings true for you as well. Like, you still remember the whole first day, setting up the tower, the first night fight. You remember sending Ilu back because she felt bad before you guys went to rest that first night? I'm, I'm get, uh, get out. Hi, this, uh, you haven't meant to slur on this for, this is a work. Mm -hmm. Um, Angel. Angel? I, I expect you are, you are celestial. Good. Uh, but Osiris, uh, the good thing about wards is, uh, they can speak goblin. They can, they can actually talk. He's telling me what happened from his perspective. Uh, out of the, the jungle is wait, safe. Wait, 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 wait. Take a step back. It's a sh it's a he? Yeah. I thought it's it was a, a she this whole time. Uh it um it changed his form, really. I'm non binary. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't hear that. Uh he's uh he's Hey then. Hey then. 
He's a she them. Are you? Are you done that for? I'm something. They are something. They Not are really magic yeah. until they die. Yeah, yeah. literally. <laughs> but uh, yes, I they are. Spells lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. They um, are. They can talk and uh. They're rec they're recounting to me everything that happened with the jungle up until they were disarmed because jungle was sick and was rejecting them. I did. I don't think I put them away. I think it was disarmed because of what happened in that jungle. That jungle itself was rejecting of the celestial that is within. Agreed. Um, I'm go. I think we should. Do you, do you think we should go tell the focus what's happening? Cause I'm pretty sure most of us are going to go with him. Some of us not. I don't. I, at this point, I can only keep track of the people I know who are staying, not the people who are going. Um, I'm just making sure that we don't have to go get provisions or anything. Does that sound sound? Yeah. 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 Alright, are you coming with us on the ship? And then are you, or are you going by yourself? I think I was going by me. That is fair. So, one, two, three, I think Akko's at four. I'm not going to give numbers, I'm going to say at least I'm going, there might be others. I'm going to wait for everyone's final decision in the morning. Okay, that is fair. Alright. Yeah. And Sylvie was going up to Christine? Yes. Giving you enough time that you, if you should, like, get up to walk away, like, clearly not wanting to, like, be around people. It's almost like she doesn't actually, actually register properly, like, that, that someone's, like, near. She's just, like, either, like, staring down or, like, holding her head, just kind of, like, just not, yeah, just staring. I swear to all the uh, not dead gods that that man. Seriously, I don't know how you uh, <laughs> put up with him for as long as he did. Anyway, at least he catches a hint. May I sit? If you're looking for an answer, I don't have one right now. I'm I don't sorry. need answers. I don't really need answers. I just would like to sit somewhere with people that don't try to make decisions for me. Don't expect much from me. That's fine. You don't tell me what to do. Where to go. You're planning on going back to Tempest Bay? I... I don't know. I don't know. I want to. I want to. And especially after. If I'm gonna stop my whining, I may as well get this over with and just figure this out myself. <laughs> it seems like they've given you a coin with heads and tails and cut it in half. I feel like this is not the first time you've had to deal with such a thing. And then had people tell you that you're whining. He doesn't respond, but 
the silence is enough. I'm not going to pretend I understand the decision that's ahead of you, but I can't imagine it would be something that could be decided on easily. Either way, uh, once the party decides what they want to do, I'm happy to travel with you. If you need the uh, help of Shroud, I do have a contact that is in Tempest Bay. Maybe I can get some assistance through that. She looks surprised and then turns to face you. The first time you sat down, it's like, why? Wouldn't you be better off with them? Honestly, I've been traveling on my own for most of my life. First time I've been in a real party, if I can get away from that stubborn, bull-headed idiot, just for a time, it, honestly, it might good, be good, good for my senses. I certainly miss Osiris. But my business in the KC is purely selfish. And it's something that I could certainly wait. And even if I leave it too long and he dies and I don't get to finish what I wanted to do, it's really not that much to get off my back. Wouldn't they be heading somewhere, at least in the direction of what you want? I've been around for a very long time, Christine. I've learned that sometimes what you want is superfluous. You can get what you want, but then you something sometimes you want something else. And then you want another thing, and then that goes away after you've gotten it, and it's all just mundane wants that change and evolve with you. This one's just a list. It's a it's a last name on a list of many people that I've been working my way through for a long time. But it's just so boring. The revenge died a long time ago. So I'm happy just doing my job. I was sent here to uh, help you all, make sure you get your tasks done. And what you're doing is clearly it is an important task, so I feel like leaving you on your own would be somewhat breaking our contract. Honestly, splitting the party is probably not so great either, but there's not it, much I can do. It's not... <sighs> it's not like it's not an important thing, but... It's not like that at all, either. It's... Selfish. And it doesn't help... When it, it's something you've been... Feeling like you've wanted... For so long. And at every turn, there's always something that seems to always stand in between you. Every time. It doesn't matter how many times... You try to take that step in the other direction. To the direction that makes sense... For the group. The way I see it is, it, life is one simple thing. Fulfilling goals, doing things for yourself. Doing things for other people fulfills a goal for yourself. Just, if you want to do this, then do it. Sometimes it helps to be a little selfish. We give everything away. Most of the time we don't get any thanks for it. I don't know if it's a selfish one, but there's so much unknown, and I don't even know if doing it alone is right, but even right now with how everything will be, however long, it wouldn't really matter if I was alone or not, it seems like I'd have just as much around me. We've not <laughs> known each other for long, but I can tell you now that I won't dig into personal matters. I can stay well out. I can travel with you. I can make sure that things go smoothly as 
much in my power as I can. And you can do this thing and hopefully not have half the party breathing down your neck. Or should I say Xavier breathing down your neck. But then what if something bad does happen to her and then... And do you trust them? Do you trust Osiris? Of course. Of course I do. I'm sure that they will help them. Worst case scenario, they have to get them out and take them somewhere. They've got a captain that seems to be skilled enough in his own way at dealing with these people. He's not dead, so he must, you know, be able to do something. People that are able to stand up against the uh, cartel for long enough and get somewhat of a name for themselves gotta stand up to that reputation. And get her out and hopefully all's well ends well. Or they just get rid of a few cartel members. If we, whatever happened in the jungle didn't kill us, and clearly you go there, you don't come back, everyone keeps saying that. We didn't die, we, we came back. So, they may set clearly up. a little bit more special than, than uh, the standard stock. Not, it's not that I don't appreciate what you're offering, but hell, I don't even know what I want anymore. If you would prefer to go on your own, then I will happily go with the others, but if you would like someone to travel with, then you need just ask. I'll let you know. I feel like we're going to be here for a while, so I'm just going to go find some shade and try to get some raiding done. Sure. Yeah, she'll just- she won't move, she'll stay where she is. She just gets up and finds, like, a nice patch of shade, probably a little closer to the jungle, but not too close. Yeah. The sun's in my eyes, it's very annoying. So, three hours have passed. And Arkfa hasn't returned. Arkfa, three hours have passed, and Terra hasn't returned. Oh, she probably would have swam off. Probably, you assume, at this point. Still gonna stand there for a bit longer? Yep. I know she can't hold her breath forever. <laughs> but Arkfa's thinking to himself, too, I guess. Uh, Bill's time. So you return to the rest of the party? Hmm? Uh, I will honestly probably just wait till the uh, sun's starting to go down fully. Maybe start in the morning. It's so. like, yeah, at this point it's like a bit after midday. Um, so still, there's still several hours of sunlight left. Like, really all you guys have done is wander around, buy some fish, talk to one dude, put out a fire, and then talk. So it's, it's some time has passed, but not a whole lot. Fair enough to count this as a short rest. <laughs> you can easily put this as a short rest. Three hours passed. Um, the rest of the party, Arkfa hasn't returned in three hours. You're not sure if they'll return time soon. What does everyone else want to do? I guess someone better go to a few kiss and just let them know, just in case he decides to leave. Did he give you a time frame? I, I, Jeremy the player does not remember. Two days? Tonight, said, I, I believe, think. was when he wants the answer. Yeah, yeah, he wants an answer tonight, but he's leaving in two days. Which would it be tomorrow? Tonight. Well, we have a little bit of time, I guess, if he's not back by nightfall, then... You said it's evening right now? It's like, it'd be like 4pm-ish right now. 3 4 yeah. pm No massive rush, I guess, but still. Weird that they haven't come back. I'm imagining... Actually, you know what? I don't remember him meditating over the flowers. I have it written down in a book. I'm not going to put it past him. So the party's, probably meditating. the party's waiting on Akbar to return? And Terra. Like, honestly, I'm waiting for, like, the party to, like, converge, but that's just me.
Uh, will the party converge? Is my question. Yeah. Is yeah. the full six people going to be at a spot together at some point? I certainly I hope so. Five. Five minimum. Six if we want to. Chris needs to buy. He's not anywhere. Yeah, towards the end of it, Arkva will sort of scratch out a, uh, roughly sort of on that long that beach where Terra was sitting, you know, scratch out in the sand somehow. It's like, when your decision's made, come back. Terra decides so, to come back, well, it'll be there. Okay. So you're doing this about when the sun starts to set? Mm-hmm. All right, so we'll skip to them. Around 6-ish p.m. period, Akfa returns. The sun is slowly setting in the distance. The five of you are here. The rain's yeah, still yeah. at its current it's level. Still... Yep, it did pick up during the midday, but it's gone back down a bit as the evening's come. Damn it, how am I supposed to read when it's raining? Yeah. Very I'm carefully. I'm gonna, like, ask the old lady if I can use her porch to to sit at or, like, somewhere so I can read. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't care. She's like, I didn't want That's why I made it. <laughs> I'll give him a fish. That's fine. <laughs> we can sit here. He went arc for finally going to smash. It's like, oh, we have one of our missing party members. I saw burnt fur. <laughs> you knew she didn't want to be around people. Yeah. It's not getting hurt too much. Well. No, that's probably one of the stronger hits, one of the that one of you have gotten against me, but that's about it. I'd like to try sparring, of course. That could be fun. Don't have time. I've wasted my day. Looks like I'm not getting that tattoo, and we've got to do something else. Did you all come to a decision? I yeah. thought we did, and then we didn't. <laughs> I believe we did. Where's your hand you if you're going? Did. And did you send that message, Osiris? Uh, he, he would have sent the message to Deloitte. Did she say anything back? Oh, see, that's the problem. She is very limited on spell slots at the moment. You can still reply. You can reply. Oh, right, she can reply. She would definitely reply. Um, I'm assuming you basically said something along the lines of, like, the KC is, like, cartel is, like... Cartel's coming for you. Armada. Okay. <laughs> she would be like, One Shit. killer among them, because why not? I, I think it'd be <laughs> something stupid along the li lines of like, Shit, are you all okay? Um, what, what, what is happening? Is everyone okay? <laughs> but yeah. Like, the first thing that comes to her mind is like, Oh no, they're getting attacked by the cartel! I'm about to get attacked! Oh no, are they getting attacked? Are we all getting attacked? How do they know about this? Are they in trouble? Am I in trouble? <laughs> oh, I guess I'll send another sending. Uh, and say... Did you relay that, or is this also what you would have done earlier in the day? I would have done this, like, after okay. the first conversation we had. Perfect. Um, yeah, I'll use a second sending to say... Uh, I just had it and my brain died. Sorry. On the way, uh... Uh, uh we're all sort of okay. Sort of. That's it. Yeah, okay. It'd be sort of something along the lines of, like... She has limited power at the moment because priests are very sick. Um, is there anyone who can help? Like, can you like send for anyone to help at all? Like, like you know, like I'm sorry, <laughs> sort of thing. Not going to be my last third level spell slot, but <clears throat> I'll use that as well. Some of us are coming. Worst case scenario. Smuggle you back home to my home. That's about it. Yeah, it's like it'd be sort of like a. I understand, like. Uh, hopefully. It, it, in 
ends like hopefully it it ends better like I'll I'll see some of you soon or something along the lines of that like <laughs> so the party's reconvened yeah all right are you heading to a futures if we're going with this captain I have two questions for him when we get there. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but you're going to trust me to ask them. Uh, and if he turns. can't answer them, then I'm not going. I'm going to clear our names back on the mainland. That's fun. Turns to Christine, so like looks to her to see if she's going to pipe up. She was just waiting to see what um, I've always said, on that final line, she kind of eyes up furiously. If you wouldn't mind any idea on the questions before I say something? They'll be asked pretty quick. You'll have a chance to overhear them. I'll wait which, my answer. Which way's the ship, Savio? Point to the lone ship. It's a little ways off. You can't exactly see it. It's just like a, because like this is an entire city of just floating ships and boats. So it takes a bit of walking if you guys spot it one on the end. It's like a fifteen-ish minute walk. Turns and starts going at a speed only Sylvie could keep up with. <laughs> I cast slow. Starts dashing. I cast haste. <laughs> oh god! I choose to walk at a standard pace. I'm in no like massive hurry. Mm -hmm. I'd have to wait anyway once I get there, and everyone else would be like. Eventually, you all make your way onto the boat. You see that, like, as you do, you see two people are talking to each other on the on the gangplank, and you see a little, you see a bunch of little kobolds just running around the deck, Ricky among them. <laughs> as you approach, they let you up, and Ricky goes and knocks on the the captain's door. Push Ricky to the side and knock myself. No, I just open it. A fucus. The captain only comes out when he's ready. You best show respect if you're sailing with me. I only have two questions for you. They can wait till I get out. No. Yes. I need to know you have a plan if you're going up against the cartel. Of course I've got a plan. I'll tell it to you when you get out. If you can't respect my rules, then I'm not selling with you anyway. I don't respect that much, but I do have another question when you're out here. As you... Go back and wait by the door. Very, like, almost immediately after he starts walking as the rest of your friends make their way into the dock he walks past you in, in the centre of the group alright ask how fast can this vessel go? it's pretty quick with my crew can it outrun an armada? yes but there's no armada at the moment reason I asked if you had a plan is because if we're going it's a rescue mission first no what the fuck it ain't there's nothing to be rescued there will be not if we're not if my plan goes into action the information that the, the Ekataz is missing has only been circling my ears now I give it one more week before the cartel gets in on it. So we have a week to kill Zircon Edamonte. Without the enforcers, that brings out the big guns. All goes going to plan. Your friend is safe. Two kept two two more admirals and get knocked out and we can try and maybe find out who's at the top of this food chain so I need to know 
Am I killing you all now, or are you going with me? I want insight to see just how truthful he has been. I trust he is, but yeah, go there ahead. Are parts of it are but still not fully there with. Him. This man has unwavering determination. You could say it's a loyalty to revenge or something. Mm. Maybe not to revenge, but some. He definitely has a loyalty to something. I just look to Osiris and nod. Tell me where the broom is. He looks at the rest of the party to see what's happening with them. Christine looks frustrated. But. I don't know. Remind me exactly what was said, like, one week before. One week before the information was first learned. Basically, yeah, he says that at the moment the news that Epic has is missing has only really just started hitting the city that you guys are in. Yep. And he guesses in another week it'll be the point where the cartel are nervous enough they'll start making act they'll start doing something about it. Uh... So basically we've got a week to get jumping. And with her frustration, like it's kind of like almost holding onto her, like the this like kind of scrunched up to the point of hurting herself that she just takes that step forward onto the ship. Fuck. Like, Sylvie, next to her at the time, takes a step forward and mutters, guess they threw that other half of the coin away. We have two days, if that's gonna be anything. We have enough provisions on board. Yeah, for our crew. And probably on the other boat. I'm sure we can sort ourselves out. It's late. Sort of looks at... Is everyone on the boat? Like, agreeing? I have one more. <laughs> I have one more boat. If everyone's there, he's just like... One of Zircon's fleet ships was passing by the area in a couple days, making their way to the hideout. You've told me some of the shit you've done, but frankly I don't believe it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go steal this boat. With my help, of course. We're gonna sneak it into their hideout and try and kill Zircon and his men before they leave. Is that amenable? Killing something some of us can do. No problems here. Is there anyone on the ship that we could afford to leave alive? No. He sort of flexes his Warforged hand. Even the smallest scum that's left can lead to dangerous things. Alright then. We're leaving port 1800 hours tomorrow. Get ready. Turns, walks back in. Who's oh, gonna storm off? You gonna go see if the old lady will let him stay there? <laughs> oh man, so I'm a spell slot, man. Can't make a pearl. Do you want a pearl? Ah, oh, that's a shame. A quick pearl to make a tower, but also you guys are gonna have to learn what it's like to not have a tower. I'm gonna go to town, and I'm going to. Pay for a, for a, for a room in one of the fancier yeah, places. Yeah, I, I think I think I'm doing the same. Oh, actually, like, I'm, just, I'm just going to pay for a place mm. to sleep. 
Okay. I'm going to a different place. I don't care where you go. I'm going to a place. There's a squalish inns. The, there's squalish inns and then uh, medium to high class brothels. So. Yep. <laughs> Depends on how I feel. How much is the high class? I got a bit of money to burn. Twelve platinum. What the fuck? I don't have that much money. To... Actually, I actually. <laughs> you know what? I have, look it up. I have three hundred ninety-five gold. You could afford it. Uh, aristocratic level. Uh, is ten gold a night. Yep. There we go. Ten gold a night. I'm that's going just, into a. That's just for the room. I'm going into a do or die situation. Services are additional fees. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's fine. I'll sort it out later. I could die. Could be my last time on a on nice land in a nice place. This isn't land. This is water. Well, you know, it's island. Yeah. yeah. Uh, to everyone, essentially, if you want to not sleep out in the open or in the tower, then it is. If you want to stay in one of the fancy places, it's ten gold a night. If you want to stay in one of the complete shitholes, it's still one gold a night, but it is trash. No, nah, it should not be. Man. It should not be charged. It should not be one dollar a night, <laughs> but like, it, it is. The, it's the equivalent of a one silver a night room for ten times the cost. Nice. I'm paying for ten. Yep. Uh, I have a house with me always. <laughs> the old lady uh, still awake at uh, six in the or seven in the evening. Yeah, I if you go there and ask to sleep in her place, she's just like, looks at you. And like, <sighs> gave me fish. Don't go on the jungle. It's just one night. That's all I ask. I wouldn't mind the company tonight to just talk. Just one night. It's almost one sleeping night. time, but I guess I can stay up while you did give me a fish. It all roll, uh, revolves back around. You know what? You guys are rough. You guys are living it up nice. You know what? Fuck you. I'm gonna go make a nice little fire pit. I'm gonna go have, like, Slara do the dog thing where he's just curled up and I'm just resting up against him. Yeah, so just still right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll make, a, I'll make a tent. Okay. You think I don't make tent? I'll make a tent. I'm just answering the question. Imagine needing to make a tent. I'm surprised you have a tent in your inventory. Uh, as those pay for your your rest. We're heading into 11. How's everyone feeling? Sleepy. I mean, I'm good. I'm okay, actually. Only one thing I want to do. I won't be the deciding factor. Says how you feel. I'm 50 gold cheaper. I had probably the worst night's sleep last night. Um, but I am a very, like, backseater character at the moment, so if you guys want to keep going and I just fail, it probably won't matter that much. Oh, I'll leave the decision up to you. she's going to be in agreeable mood. She'll just go with the party. I'll leave the decision to you guys then. What do you want to do? Continue going for a little bit, or end it there? I think I only have one thing I want to try, and that was it, so I'm, I'm good either way. I'll just do that then. You can go over a few things, but yeah, we'll, we can do that. So, what, yeah. is, what is it you wanted to do? We'll do that first, then we'll probably end it soon after. Um, so, Clark, for after chatting with her for a bit, you know, getting out the frustrations and whatnot, uh, asks first for uh, would I be able to get a copy of the uh, sketch? And uh, I'll let you get some rest. I, I'll just meditate out here. I, I want to try and contact something. She nods, she goes down into the the area that you saw before. Actually, you forgot. You see she opens up a, a hatch in her room and goes into no way, a, a basement. Cool. Um, takes out a sketchbook uh, and rips out the page and hands it to you. Dang it, it's best I hold on to this, because I don't know if I'm staying. Well, don't get... Don't get anyone to do it for you other than me. That'd be no, rude. I would hope that I could only get you to do it, but see what times happen if I come back. <laughs> uh, I was gonna sort of get into a pose of trying to call forth something, his ancestors, I guess. Hmm. He, he wants to seek advice on whether 
he himself is taking the right path that he believes in. As confusing as that is. <laughs> well, what do you, what does Aqua believe? Does Aqua believe this is the right path? Aqua believes in clearing his friend's name and keeping them alive. Which is sort of why he wants to see if he can even briefly get a glimpse of anything his spiritual ancestors because quite frankly he's forgotten about the twins <laughs> that the uh, religion roll allowed you can try it mm -hmm. it was worth a shot meditate you do everything you normally do after 15 ish 20 minutes of your meditation you're unable to achieve the state of mind that you're hoping for and it's just a lot going through it I think he's just a bit too worried about whether Terra has gone and gotten herself killed. Oh well, with that he's gonna call it a night. The only other person he needs to talk to is Christine next session, so... Is there anyone else doing anything before the night ends? Before the night ends, no. I imagine uh, there's gonna be small, it's just... Ray. And whatever room she ended up in, it's, it's just there, sort of sitting, thinking, just basically, what am I doing? And that's really it for now. I actually might have something to do. Okay. I'm just gonna briefly take out my regular longsword and just. Hold it over the fire a little bit. See how it feels. Um, it's hot. It's hot. And just sort of feel the weight of what I've just agreed to. Um, Devilus. I just agreed to it. But I'm sorry if I have to kill again. We just navigating these people are pretty dangerous and if they're left alive they I don't even know if you're watching me or not. I don't even know what to do anymore. You're not even here, are you? Did you send me there? Was that you? Was that someone else? As you look into the blade of your longsword, um, you see uh, a flicker of three shapes. Uh, one being uh, a hobgoblin, but the silhouette is pure black and the eyes are white. The other is another hobgoblin that's pure white and his eyes are black and a flash of purple in between the transition of the two. Was it the twins? Was that you in the group? Did you stare at the, the yeah. blade? Nothing else happens. I don't 
Hopefully it's not some drug sleeve mix. Okay, must be a drug sleeve dude. Can't see any drugs or uh, chain fuck. What was that mix in there? Oh, some normal stuff, some uh, dead willing to die too. So I hold the sword there, I reach my arm back, and I don't want to touch the other sword. Yep. But I want to hold on to that too, as I just look at it. And then... I'm gonna... Try and reach that state again. Where I can... If I can talk to people in prayer or some sort, we'll just get that clarity. If not, I'll probably just stay up until Terra comes back. Okay, roll a religion check and then. You stand up for a while. Yeah. You're, unable to re you're unable to achieve the mental state for any kind of communication. You make prayers, but you don't really feel any responses or anything at all, really. As you as you sit there waiting for terror, uh, unless you drift off when you sleep, you see the blue light of uh, the, the cloudy orange sky of night slowly breaks into a blue as the day is gonna start. Are you taking a level of exhaustion or are you sleeping beforehand? I'll take that level. Alright. And as the dawn breaks on the 12th of Easter and a long rest goes when the cat gets off my keyboard and stops messing that up, uh, we will end session there. I did no such thing. <laughs> I like that. I thought we'd go somewhere this session. <laughs> hey, we had a, we went we went somewhere. Mm -hmm. uh, we Physically, went no. Place. Mentally and emotionally no. and relationshiply, yes. Yeah, we went. Went to emotion land, indeed. Sylvie watched. What? It was hot. Before, before we understand, <laughs> um, until, uh, between the session next session, there was a day of fucking around before the ship leaves. So if people want to like do any minor shopping in town, like restocking rations and whatnot, feel free. Um, anything aside from buying rations, you'll have to ask me or AJ, because this town isn't the most heavily stocked on all goods. Uh, um, unless it's alcohol, weapons, or food, <laughs> you might have a hard time getting it. Or if you no had a boat, there. but you don't have one of them. <laughs> yeah. um, I already got a delay, the one thing I wanted to do here, so... But yeah. Other than that, do our streamy people have any streamy news? Ruins of Rosia. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna start the tournament night next week. We're aiming for that. No more being sick. Sick, bad. Bad, bad, sick, bad, bad. We're gonna start the tournament. It's gonna happen. It's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. I have said this to Black Mix. Mim is saying there is nothing on her end as of yet. Or just because the screen is different and they can't see you. Nothing on mine, just the usual. Yeah? Alright, tomorrow I might be playing near Replicant. I have to work tomorrow if I'm too tired. Uh, no stream. Tuesday is more Dust in the Lazy and Tail. Thursday, uh, Wednesday is more Pokemon Black 2 Hardcore Knowledge. Uh, hardcore Challenge Nuzlocke. Uh, Wednesday is. Uh, Thursday is Divinity 2. I found out that for my birthday, I guess we're playing Divinity 2. Uh, unless I'm bored of Divinity 2. <laughs> we'll find out. Gate 3. Uh, because I don't have money, and we decided to play Divinity 2. <laughs> we did. And also, I didn't actually realize it was actually coming out that early. Um, and yeah, next Friday is session, uh, chapter 14 
of Guardians Rebirth, a homebrew D&D campaign based on Isekai Land, uh, chapter 15 I mean, and that's also in the fun place. And we're back in two weeks time for session 54 of Echoes of the Forgotten. Uh, we all leave you having a good weekend and we'll talk to you later. Mm. Bye bye. Uh.